Alright guys, hope you're all doing well. I just woke up and it's time to uh, become the Pirate King here on uh, today's island tournament, so it should be quite a bit of fun. I don't really know who we're going to play. I think we're going to get into the lobby actually and then have you guys vote on it. Um, <laughs> so we'll see what happens, man. It's going to be good. Alright, so let's find Emperor Jarin. Here he is. He's hosting our pod. Uh, send the code, please. Or invite. Wow, look at that match invite from. Dude, these guys are quick. My goodness. Yeah, look how swift they are. Some awesome hosting here. Yeah, I figured it was fitting. It's, it's kind of like, a, like we got a pirate situation going on here. All right, so uh, I am in the lobby officially. I'm being invited to a different... Am I in a different lobby than this one? Hold on a sec. Let me check. So I'm going to refresh this real quick. I don't know if they switched anything around last minute, but um, nope. Looks like I'm in the right pod. All right. Who do we want to play? Now, we do have like a pro level player in our, in our pod. <laughs> I mean, I'm like a, a like a pit lord of Conqueror. I'm like on the floor. This guy's on the ceiling. Um, so yeah, we're probably going to need to use some teamwork. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Maybe not. Who do we play though, guys? I have no idea. I mean, I, I kind of wanted to play the Malians just because I think it's fun. But do they really have a lot that they can bring to the table as it pertains to naval play? You know, that's the question. I could also go super sweaty and go England. Like England might be a good one. Um, I don't know. What do you guys want to see, man? Mongols? I'm not very good at Mongols. I, I don't understand, like, the core faction mechanics. Oh, I love it. We have a guy named Core in our lobby. That's funny. Um, yeah, check with, um, check with Gunhound. Check with Gunhound. Yeah, but who do we play today, guys? I don't know. Delhi? Not really. Roos, Roos are cool because they get the hunting cabins and they also have, like, the really cool fishing tech. Um, I haven't played water maps really since the most recent patch that kind of changed it. So I don't really know what I'm doing. So we're going to have to wing it. I know a lot of people probably practiced. I sure as hell didn't. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Roos, Roos could be cool. Uh, honestly, I kind of wanted to go England too. You know, and just get like that late game gold flowing. So when everybody else is out of gold, I'm still able to kind of party. China is really OP on water, apparently. Like really, really OP. But I also don't want to put that much of a target on their back. On my back. You know, I don't want everyone to be like, oh, he's Chinese, get him. You know. French are really strong. Core playing French is going to be very good because he's going to have the guild hall giving him infinite stone and he's going to be able to just like I build a, up an island defense, Please right? Please don't kill me. And go crazy. Yeah, Mongols in China are really good on water. That's what I thought. Oh, uh, we could, like, I wanted to go Malians or England. Let's go England, though. That'll be fun. England has been, what used to be my main for the longest time, so we're going to take it back. And they're not as OP on water. You know, they can't pressure you as easily with mass trebs and archers and, you know, but the one advantage you have is the gold, right? Like having that good, good gold is going to be very, very sweet. Ottomans for a great galley. That does sound good. Yeah, it is blue goose. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. We'll go with the red England. Should be good. So we're just checking. Um, we might be one person short. I don't know if they, they showed up or have reached out. Let's see. I'm going to go check some of the discord stuff. Make sure I am not needed there. Um, yeah, I don't know where these announcements are coming from. Probably down here somewhere in ye old Age of Empires. I have three notifications in Discord, but I can't find them at the moment. Hope you guys are all doing well. It's going to be really fun. 3v1 Core. Yeah, he's really good. He's really good. I mean, he's, I'm pretty sure he's Conqueror 3. Yeah. So he's basically, you know, pro level. Yeah, and in team he's Conqueror. Yeah. So unless, unless like, there's a little bit of a working against him, probably. <laughs> 
<laughs> the pod's not going to go terribly well. He has a lot more hours than any of the other players do in terms of practice. So, I mean, we got Chris here, who is a platinum player, and Jaren is um, is gold. Yeah, so we, we would definitely need to... Because <laughs> I, I have a feeling Core might just like try and kill me real quick and then, uh, and then isolate the other two. I'm not sure. I should be able to put up a good fight, though. I, I can, you know, I can contend with Conqueror players a little bit, but he's he's much better than me. Yeah, he's much better. Hey, Jaren, how's it going, man? Yes, I'm pretty close uh, to starting. We just need to get one last person here. We could have someone else join, I'm sure. So we're just gonna kind of work it out. Yep, invite came. Love the music. Hey, Palermo, I'm glad you dig it, man. I'm glad you dig it. Yeah, so it looks like we're just missing a couple more. Yep. We'll give it another couple minutes. We could always do four four players, but I think five or six would be more fun. I think four is going to be uh, going to be over pretty damn quick. So this is the same format as last week. We have two rounds. We have one round, which is the... Uh, we, I think we have eight pods or seven pods or something. And uh, yeah. And then the winner of each one is going to be advancing on to the grand final. Sorry, I just like woke up and I have like a, a brutal headache. Probably from grinding my teeth all night, so... <laughs> so trying to trying to get my focus going. Oh, you're playing the Malians. There you go. Malians are cool, man. It, it's like, here's the thing about Malians. If you get, if you're able to get like several ore or gold pits on your island, like like three of them at least, I feel like you can do pretty well. But the problem is if you get a bad spawn and you don't get too many gold pieces on your island, like your whole tech is kind of haggard. You know what I'm saying? No, we're going to do the dreaded English Navy. Hey, Ryan, if that's the case, ask Gunhound. I mean, that would be cool if we could get a bigger pod. I think it'd make for a more exciting game here. What do you think about that, Gunhound? We could combine it with one of the pods that only has three players and go up to seven? I think that'd be really fun. Totally up to you, though, boss. You're the Dark Lord today. You need to get a box and gum guard. Yeah, dude, I grind my teeth so bad. I'm like the guy from uh, Hellraiser. You know, the guy who's, like, knocking his teeth together nonstop? <laughs> the Cenobite? Yeah, it's like I, I joke with my wife when we when we uh, grind our teeth. I'm like, we're like the Cenobites from Hellraiser, <laughs> just like chomping our teeth. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jaren, I love it, man. Malians are, I really like the Malians. Every a map I have given me gives me two large gold mines. That's pretty good. So large gold mines, I think, are what? 160 gold a minute if you optimize them with the houses? It's 140 or 160. So that's like the equivalent of having, if you have two large gold pits, 86. It's like having three or four relics, which is pretty good. Hey, Zlami, of course a lot of people sign up, man. It's always a good time. It's always a good time. So I'm going to be casting the finals as well. So after I either advance or get karate chops by core here, we will uh, we will cast the grand finals. So don't worry. You're going to be getting plenty of action here today. Oh, man, that's pretty brutal, James. Yeah, sounds familiar. Some Skaven style teeth? No, I actually have very, my teeth are, are pretty solid. I, actually, I went to the dentist recently and they're like, wow, you've got perfect, like a, a little bit of grinding on top. But yeah, I was like shocked. I think it's just, I think a lot of it's like genetics. I just got lucky with, with the teeth thing. 90 gold a minute for small? Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's see what's going on. Check in with the crew. Looks like one pod did start. And uh, we have three at the moment. All right. Could have only have three. Yeah, I'm excited for this, man. It's going to be serious. What does England actually bring to the Navy? I think England has uh, cheaper ships. I think they're 10% cheaper to produce, which isn't bad. You know, if you're producing, a, let's say, a fishing boat, I know they don't cost 100 wood, but if you are, let's say it was 100, yeah, you get 10 wood off. Eh, that's all right. There's definitely way better techs in the water, way better. I think England can build hulks too, though, which are pretty good warships. So obviously we could have a, a Hulk Navy. The Malian Navy is really fun. I really, really like the Malian Navy. Just like swarming cheap ships and uh, their unique tech is okay. They're, they get like extra javelin attacks from their ships, I think, from like their arrow ships. So they get like their cheaper ships are more cost effective at like swarming you and out trading enemy low tier ships and also um, incendiary ships and things like that. It's one of five and one. It's one of five and one fifty after the patch on ninety and one twenty. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Thank you. So it got buffed a little bit. Yeah, it makes sense. Malians were uh, Malians were pretty. They seem they seem weak in one v one. Oh, I got weight. Oh, are we starting? Let's see. Uh huh. Checking in the Discord. 
All right. Start the game already. Ryan in YouTube chat, I believe that is... So yeah, if you were in chat and you were talking about joining our pod, just go ahead and message Gunhound in Discord right now. We just gotta make sure that, because if we have a pod of three, then uh, you know that's gonna be kind of kind of silly. I am weak. Waiting for. Please uh, don't kill me. Another Let's pod to see if three. they get four. Otherwise, they will join us with three. Seven. Yeah, it'd be pretty fun to get like a big naval rumble, even in round one. Just gonna go like four hours. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Jonas, I'm glad you're enjoying the AoE content. I love Age of Empires. It's really fun. It's really, really fun. Yeah. It's a great game, man. It's great. What I like the most about, like, in Total War, I love 1v1s, right? Like, Total War Warhammer, I love 1v1. But, like, what Total War Warhammer lacks is, like, really fun group play. Like, in this, like, having, a, like, FFA tournaments, like, team games that are really good quality. Um, you know, it just feels better. Like, yeah, I, I really I really like the team element and the big group gameplay we can get here. Like, you can't really get that effectively in Total War. If you try and have a lobby with more than two people in Total War, like, you often just lag because it has, like, shithouse peer-to-peer, -peer, right? In Age, it's like, I feel like I'm playing with a bunch of, you know, a bunch of friends back in the day at, like, a LAN party or something like that. Yeah, Thomas, that sounds pretty good, yeah. I haven't, I haven't played any uh, water maps in a long time, so any any pro tips are, uh, are welcome. All right. Anyone just forego turn? They got their fourth. Sounds good. All right, so it looks like we can start. Let's do it. Seems we can start. All right, so I just checked in. Looks good to me. And we're loading in, ladies and gentlemen. The first pod. It's going to be a wild four-man FFA. We have the the haggard lords of bronze, the Bronzodia forces. I will try my best to <laughs> to assist them against Kor. I wonder what Kor is going to do. I, I, he's probably just going to go guild hall and just build like an unholy defense, I would wager. Yeah, that would be my two cents. I'm just going to try and get fast imp and just get the gold farms going. Obviously, uh, you know, everyone's going to be doing fishing as well. and But you still do want the farms. Yeah, FFAs are really good. I think they're the spice of life. You know, I was casting, you know, high level 1v1s with... Um, EGC TV and a couple on my own channel, but really I enjoy the the FFA so much more in Age of Empires than I do 1v1. I really do like 1v1 as well, but there's something about free for all which is just so wild. You get big battles, you get like all the cool stuff. Yeah, it's 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 really fun. All right, Jarn is there. We got Chris, Core, and myself. Uh, Core and Zlami are the highest ranked in the tournament. I'm like a well at the moment I'm pretty close to Conquer. I haven't been playing much, but I should I'll probably end up with around Conquer one this season. Um, Core is Conqueror 3 in, in team and 1v1 and same with Zlami so they, they play together I wonder it'll be interesting to see them kind of duke it out if they make it to the grand finals against one another you know like who's gonna who's gonna betray who okay so let's get you guys set up here we'll do this kind of a weird map the, the forest here is strange alright looking good so we are playing for England James let's go see what our okay this is actually like seems like a kind of a bad spawn Cause we're like in the middle of the map. I, dude, I think we might actually share a landmass. Same. Good luck. Have yeah, fun. we are. I think everyone's on like a weird kind of map right now. Oh my god, is this is this what I think is what I think? Good luck. Have fun. I feel like we're on the same map, unless it's just a really small, or we're on the same island. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Sauron lurks, dude. Kor, Kor is basically Sauron. He's just sitting there with like a giant mace, like clubbing, clubbing the Lords of Bronzodia, like at the beginning of the uh, the, the the Fellowship. You remember when Sauron is just like wading through the forces of Isildur and just like <laughs> just taking it to him. Um, all right, so let's do this. Let's go here. I'm gonna build over there, kind of far away, but it's um it's a little bit safer. It's like isolated, right? And plus, it'll be better for trade post. So that's the plan. Okay, so I just have this weird island. I'm kind of in the middle, which is unfortunate, but it could be worse. Um, are we going to do any English Farmville? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we got a deer camp. We don't need to deny any deer. We have two, three gold nodes, which is plenty. We're English. We don't really care about gold nodes. We can just build farms. The only problem with this island is that um, we can't really, like, everything can be shot by, like, sea. So I hope the other players are like this, too, and it's not just me on this accursed 
the cursed layout here. All right, so let's get you down here. We got the sheep. Should be enough food for now. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a it's a cozy island. It's trying its best. All right, sheep, you guys have done it. Good. And uh, how do we want to build this? Do I want to get any farms at all? I feel like it's kind of a waste. All right, so we'll start on this gold node here. At least we have our brave. We can defend these English shores with some longbowmen. All right, so you can just fish. We'll get you going. Get a couple boats popping out. And uh, yeah, we should start getting some gold now so we can get to the next age. All right, guys. Pretty good start so far. How do you like Rings of Power? I, I, I thought it was horribly mediocre. I didn't like loathe it. It wasn't as bad as like Game of Thrones Season 8, but it was pretty bad, I think. Um, you know, I'm also holding it to the benchmark that I held, you know, to the Lord of the Rings trilogy, which is my favorite piece of cinema of all time. So it's not really like easy for them, at least from my metrics. Um, but it was horribly mediocre. There was some moments I was like, ah, it's kind of fun. You know, it was really like some of the scenery was cool and the the, the world building they did, but um, overall the characters and, you know, I just, it didn't tickle my pickle really. Yeah, it didn't. All right, so let's get you guys in here. Three on gold should be enough for now. We'll jump back on the wood and uh, yeah, we're gonna need to go colonizing soon because honestly this island is, um, and we have more here. Let's set up another dock there. Yeah, you're going to want the double dock here. We're going to have to go find another island to build on, though. Probably we'll take a couple villagers and build a uh, build a landmark there. Council Hall will obviously be on the main island here. Because if we need to muster a defense, you want your longbows on your island. Hey, Caleb, welcome to the stream. Yes, you are here. You have made it. All right, we're going to get a transport ship. Go explore. We need to know where everything is. We need to know the lay of the land, ladies and gentlemen. So the fishing masters are underway. We've got three fishing boats going. Yeah, yeah, man. I don't know. Like, I feel like uh, with the Rings of Power, I feel like the, the template had been laid out. You know, the Lord of the Rings was made and people, you know, it's like there. If you just emulate that, like the, the style, the, you know, the, the kind of the, the character design, everything, like, I feel like you're going to nail it and everyone will love you. But like somehow people just always, always think they can one up old Peter Jackson's uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy and just, you know, it doesn't work out. All right. So let's get you and a scout and just go exploring. I mean, the Hobbit was pretty haggard, but even after, like, part of me was like, oh, well, at least the Hobbit had Gandalf in it. Had <laughs> Ian McKellen, at least. <laughs> right? All right, so let's yeah. get you guys. The Hobbit was pretty bad, though. But I still, like, enjoyed it more than Rings of Power. Like, the um, the whole bit in The Hobbit with, like, the dwarves, like, tumbling down. Oh, my God, you guys remember that shit? That was so haggard. Is this uh, someone else's island here? Let's go explore. All right, so let's go here. Go see what's going on. Like, securing these islands is going to be super important. Okay, so it looks like this is actually legitimately a island here. With oh, a sacred site. Okay, there's a, and there's a trade post here. So we definitely want this. All right. Wow, okay. This is this is uh, quite lucrative, it would seem. Let's get you guys. Let's go down here. And uh, we need to set you up. All right. And, uh, yeah, we want a, t a tower here. All right. So, yeah, this is a pretty good little island. Please don't kill me. I like how they're spamming the I'm too weak one. Tr truce until Kor is dead. <laughs> so it begins, dude. They're just not holding back any blows. Yeah, this is great, though. This is great. The Hobbit had some moments. Like, I liked the... The Hobbit had a lot of good casting. Like, uh, Bilbo Baggins. He was a great cast. Um, Thorn I liked Thorin Oak and Shield. I know some people didn't, but I thought he was good. And of course, I'm supply blocked. Uh, yeah, this island's pretty prime time. Pretty prime time. Not a lot of resources outside of wood, but you know, that's all we need. Wood is like everything. Of course, supply block for like 10 minutes there. Gotta love it. The Bronze League tactics. Okay. Houses are finished, so we should be out of the supply block now. Let's get forestry so we can be a little bit quicker. Yeah, the Dwarven singing at Bilbo's place was really good too. Like, see what I'm saying? There's moments in that was good. Like in Rings of Power, nothing was really memorable for me. It was just kind of like, yeah, it was whatever. So this is like really good, this island. Plus there's only two sacred sites, so um, we definitely want to get this. All right, looks good. We're getting a little bit of stone so I can get a second TC and put it on that island. Or what I'll do is, uh, you know what I'll actually do? I'll, uh, I'll do the King's Palace there. I'll do the King's Palace. Let's take some woodworkers and we'll just go, we'll just go like to the fast castle and, and get King's Palace. So we don't even need this as a matter of fact. We'll get a little bit of stone for the arrow slits and whatnot, but um, yeah, so that will allow us to get um, an arrow emplacement here once we get Feudal Age. What the heck? Oh, I thought we finished there. I thought we had gotten there. Oh, it was one of my opponents. Okay, lovely. 
Okay, looks good. Let's have you guys go and start doing some lumberjacking. And now we can go explore the rest of the map. Okay, so it looks like here we have Kor. He is our uh, our lovely neighbor. Let's get the arrow slit, and now we can get you guys jumping on the sheep for now. And uh, we might need a little bit more on gold as well. All right, so we have the boats, and uh, galleys are the... Yeah, we can build a hulk. Let's build a hulk. I don't want my fleet to just get overwhelmed by some sort of pressure. And uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to kind of explore and see who our neighbors are. Yeah, getting this island, though, is, is really sweet. We do have that arrow emplacement, which um, if anybody tries to land there, it should be pretty good for us. Pretty good. My island, that's not peace. Oh my god, look at this. There's already dissent in the ranks. People are people are fighting. Alright, so let's move you guys out here. Just get one Hulk for now. I think that's going to be pretty clutch. Obviously, we don't really need the English farms. You want a lot of lumber. Look, yes. Okay, so we got our arrow emplacement, and uh, looks like the docks are there. I could do some more outposts here. Let's let's do an outpost like right up here, just to make sure like no cheeky trades going on there, and we'll get another Hulk as well. Just one more Hulk, and then we go we go to castle because we we don't want to spend too long here in this age, in this dreaded age. We need to. There's four relics on this island, man. Like we we need to get those 100. percent yeah, I got, a, I got a tough neighbor. That's okay. I like a challenge. And yeah, who cares? You know, how much did the Hulk cost? Hulks are only 27 gold. Jeez. They used to cost, I think, like 100. Okay, that's that's interesting. So times are changing. The old man must keep up with them. All right, so we got two Hulks. Um, I don't know if I want to, like, be drawn into open war yet, but I kind of want to go, like, poke and prod and see what's going on over here. Because he's probably going to be very greedy, right? So let's just, like, let's just get our, our Hulk smash and go see what's going on. Uh, increases the range of combat ships. Yeah, no, thank you. Let's get you guys on gold. And, uh, yeah, our fishing fleet should be pretty ample. Oh, that's clever, Orange. Oh, Orange is up to no good. Okay, he, he's he got... Yeah, my transport ship, I'm gonna go, like, kind of scout the entire realm out and see what's going on. Very close to the next age. And, uh, then we're just gonna pop out and get wrecked, probably. But I think I need to put a little bit of pressure on. Yeah, see, he's already Castle Age, so we gotta, we gotta go, like, get a little aggressive here. Okay, so we're going to attack his fishing ships, try and screw him up a little bit. Let's get the old King's Palace. So he's fleeing the scene, but he's going to have warships here soon. See if we can kill one. Very good. Alright. So hopefully we can, like, harry his fishing. Because we can't just let him... We can't just let this super high-level player just do whatever he wants. There needs to be some 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 punishment here, you know? Okay, let's keep going up here. We got you coming back. Let's have you help with the King's Palace. And we got more Hulks, which is good. Okay, keep sniping. No, we're in the early rounds right now. We are in the earliest of rounds. Okay, so he's missing out on food right now. Obviously, probably not too much, but... Probably decent. Alright, Hulk and Hulk. English Hulk smash. Good. Like, his, he's just playing pure greed. He doesn't have any warships. So you gotta punish him for this, right? Okay. Let's get you guys. We got more warships coming as well. Oh my god, my fishing boats. Go back to your... Go back to the fish, please. He's got a, ga a, ga a Galeus out. Oh, like a big Chungus warship. Okay. And we should be castle in a moment. Let's get the range of warship upgrade. Alright, team. Looking good. Grab some of you guys, do this, and set up some farms here in a minute. Get the big warships. He's obviously has one right now, I think. Uh, let's get some galleys. And uh, just keep chasing for now. Cool. So we're just trying to trying to set him back so he doesn't become a tyrant. Which he will eventually. Okay, let's micro you back. I wonder how our ships do against his. Probably not too hot. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll go and form ranks with our navy here. All right, so spring all ships gain one attack range, and uh, cool. I will take it. So we got this little island. We're Castle Age now, which is awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's do this. You guys go ahead and get the religious character on this island here. And uh, we do need to, yeah, fall back to our docks and heal. Cool, let's get the fishing upgrades. 
And uh, we also probably want to get you. Potentially going to be some raids going on there. And the transport ship needs to go explore the rest of the islands. All right, so we have a good navy now. Pretty respectable, I would say. The English navy here is, is doing, a, doing it proud. And yeah, even if our main base gets wiped out, we're gonna have um, we're gonna have this this backup position here. All right, so we need to do this too. We need to get outposts all over our island to see if any like weird landing is gonna be coming. All right, back here for repairs. We have a lot of food queued up. Let's get you. Pop out this religious character. Oh, we're supply blocked, lovely. That's what happens when I play early in the morning. Okay, so interesting. It's going for this little island, which is cool, I guess. I don't know. It's going to be able to kind of poke a little bit, but... Got a lot of the warships. I need to read what my warships actually do. Strong against arrow ships. Um, strong against... So the galleys benefit from blacksmith upgrades. Okay, that's kind of cool. So I need to be on top of that. He's probably going to come raid my island, but... Hopefully I'm not the only one. People have to know how strong he is. Orange attacking me with big fleet. Okay, so we gotta we gotta like shout it out and be like, hey man, this is what's going down here. Okay, so let's come down here. Let's have you guys come down here. Do this. And uh, oh, he's retreating. Okay. You gotta call it out when the dark lords rise. How, oh my god, those things can reach from there? Are you serious? It's pretty insane. Look at the range on those things. Goodness gracious. And uh, yeah, all right. I don't know if we can take that. Oh god, he doesn't even have a fleet yet. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, well, let's get these fishing boats back online and just have them into the corner. I don't think there's any sense in attacking that. Alright. And did we get the blacksmith up? We definitely want to. Alright, looking good. And we're almost ready for Imp. We're almost ready for Imperial Age. Okay, we need you to go here and you to go here. We have the we have the brave English Navy. Hulk, galleys, just a combination of both. Get the arrow defense against the ships. Yeah, we're doing good, Gunhound. I'm super focused because I'm having to fight Kor. He's my neighbor, so. But it's going it's going really good, I would say. And then we'll come and get this relic. Do this, get that. And uh, yeah, now we just need a lot of gold. Need a lot of gold. The fact that we're getting all these relics is really nice. All right, so we got some warships. Let's go test the waters, see how our fleet will fare. We've got some good quality upgrades, I think. Um, is there anything else we want to do? Oh, I do need the armored hulls. Yeah, fighting without that would be silly. Okay, so he's got a fleet landing on the shores here. Oh, check this out. He's going for the Red Palace here, guys. All right, so we'll move up. I don't know how if we, if we could actually fight his fleet effectively. But this is going to be a pain, 100%. All right, let's attack. Snipe the priest. Oh man, if we sink this boat, it's gonna be pretty pretty strong. Okay, so we force those back, which is good. So we denied Red Palace. We might have a stronger navy. We'll have to see. Okay, so we're sniping the bills. And let's go after the Galeas. Let's get you guys going, get you villagers up here. All right. I think his plan is failing. Yeah, his plan is failing. That's good. We have some we have some haggard reinforcements coming over. The Lords of Bronzodia know that we must unite against the tyranny. Okay, let's do this. Look, even my villagers are gonna get their bows out. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, baby, let's go. Okay, let's go this, and we can build the Barkshire right here. Two can play that game. Okay, so we're gonna get Barkshire up. I definitely need more docks. Okay, let's do this and this. Pull you guys back. Get the warships going. Get the warships going. Those French ships are nasty, dude. They don't mess around. Let's get the wheelbarrow and everything. If he can, re if he can't reach the vills making this, it should be okay. Let's do this, and then we can go ahead. I think I lost some resources from that. Yeah, because he had shot it, so. We just kind of got screwed a little bit, guys. Because he's he's not Imp either, though. He still has the Red Palace here being built. If he gets the Red Palace on that island, I'm in some serious trouble. All right, so we need to get more docks, 100%. I think I just got screwed because I, I, I should have been Imp right now. 
Uh, Red Palace going up there. Okay. So, yeah, people are going to have to start teaming up again. He clearly knows how to play water maps very well. Okay. He is gonna he's gonna run away in power very very quickly here. Okay, so we gotta fall back and just build Barkshire on our home base. Yeah, demos will uh, do well against them for sure. Okay, let's do this, and then we want to get that. Should have had that upgrade beforehand. Yeah, this is really bad. I need the I need the Haggard alliances to to come and and ride with us. Okay, let's build some towers here. Try and hold. We're gonna have to just fall back to our island, our island man, because there's no way we can approach it now. Now that he has the red keep there, there's no way. You guys gotta attack him, or it's GG. Yeah, it's it's, uh, and I'm not even exaggerating. If they don't if, if they don't attack him soon, it's gonna be GG. All right. No, his main base. Okay, let's do this. Looking good. And uh, let's just go. We're just going to have to go mainland Barkshire. Yeah, just like straight up. That's going to be the plan. All right, let's go mainland Barkshire. Because one of our landmarks is straight up trapped here. We do have Springall Towers coming. Okay, stone upgrade is on the way. We're going to be Imperial soon, which is good. And uh, yeah, we have these little towers that are ba barely holding them at bay here. Don't attack into Red Palace. If they, if our, if our, if our Haggard Alliance attacks into the Red Palace, then we're, uh, we're, we're doomed. The Red Palace will annihilate our fleets. All right, let's get you guys. Update this. We're gonna have to team up against him though, because he's just so much more proficient, especially at water. I don't know how to play water, so I can't really compete with him here. Yeah, he's going after the relics here, but we're going to get spring towers just to be annoying. Alright, so I'm going to loop around and see if I can attack his navy somehow. And uh, we need to get the English farm enclosures going too. Alright, looking good. A little bit too much on gold. That was not the deal. <laughs> okay, I'm attacking his navy here. Here we go. Here we go. We need to we need to karate chop him. He's too strong to be left alive. He's totally Palpatine. Okay, I just got a lot of demo action. Okay, let's see this and uh... okay, here we go. Trying to kill his warships, obviously slowing the pace a little bit. Okay, so we're going to loop up here. And uh, now we need to get a uh, stone tower if we can. How, how come I can't afford this? Oh, that's not enough stone. Okay. All right, so we're going to shut down the uh, the fishing. And then we need to get the English farms going for the infinite gold. And uh, let's just keep on the ships. Let's get some Karax as well. Get a little spring tower there. A little razzle dazzle. Let's get some more stone. Man, his ships are really chungus. They're serious. He needs to be he needs to be karate chopped here though. He is too strong. Too strong to be left alive. Okay, so let's go down here and down here and here. No, it needs to go over here and then up here. And this will give us good. Alright, guys. So so far so good. We're holding on. You know, it's it's a tough fight. It's a tough fight. His, this must be his main base up here, but like taking down the... Uh, so we kill the man with the trade post next. Uh, he's not dead yet. Yeah. All right. I'm telling you, if you leave Kor alive, he's going to come back and get us all. I know how the Palpatine works. I'm, I'm usually the... A Palpatine, but not today. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do that. So we got some big scary warships now. I think Red Palace outranges us. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to shoot the Red Palace at range. Let's see if we can actually... Because the English warships do have superior range. 
So I'm thinking maybe I'm going to be able to do something. Nope, 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 nope. That's not going to work. God damn, that thing is like literally impossible to kill, guys. It's like, it's just brutal. Alright. So what we need to do now, get a little bit of this. And get you guys queued up here. Get the warships, get the big chunga ships. So yeah, we're not we're just not gonna kill that. That's just not gonna be possible. Um yeah, let's get the health of all ships. Looks good to me. Keep lumberjacking. And uh, we need to start on, on a little bit of this. It's it's only Trebs can hit it safely, yeah. It's he's gonna get this island for sure. That's just gonna be his rat's nest, I guess. Cause otherwise, yeah, we would have to build I don't even know how we would kill the Red Palace, dude. Just feels brutal. I'm not trying to attack you, Jaren. I'm just trying to run by. Okay, let's grab some of you guys. I need to get like a, somewhat of a landing force or something. These islands are so small, man. Okay. So yeah, he's got a treb here. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. With my mighty canoes? I know. I fear your canoes, man. I fear and respect them. We'll set up like a better farm situation in a little bit. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Yeah, because he's going to be a tyrant if we let him live. I think he's just going to be rooted on this island for now. Okay, let's just get you over here. Let's keep circling. And now we got the boys coming out, the big armored boys, maybe. <laughs> My foothold on this island has slipped, that's for sure. I don't know if anybody actually did damage to his eco, though, his land-based eco. Not sure. How many barracks do we have right now? Oh, not enough. You guys didn't finish it. Nice. Love it. Okay, so let's go here. Let's get a dock. And uh, we want you guys to get a couple of these. House, please. Let's uh, not get supply blocked again here. Okay. So I've been pushed off my little relic island, which honestly was pretty sweet. That was a great little spot, but, you know, he took a really aggressive measures to get me off that island. Okay, let's upgrade our arrow ships. Enemy destroyed Kor's landmark. Okay, good. So they're actually trying to kill him, which is good. They're actually trying. The 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 lords of bronze will rise once again. He because he won the last tournament, so we we know who the arch enemy is. Okay, let's get the armored boys ready to go. Get some of you guys over here. Go make some space. I need to get my landmark back. It's pretty unfortunate. All right, let's see if we could just cannonball this. All right, I got rid of his transport ship. Uh huh. Looking good. Get you guys going here? We're fully supplied out. Yeah, looks good. Getting a lot of these big thick boys. And uh, we can do a little something something here. Yeah, Trebs are probably one of the only ways to take down the Red Palace. I agree. It's it's not easy. Red Palace is very scary. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and make some view. It just does so much damage, it's obscene. Alright, so now what we can do is we can get like coastal cannon towers. I do like that idea. Yeah, it looks good. And then we got Barkshire defending over here. Alright. And how are we looking? Are these guys not quite elite yet? No, oh, man. Okay. We need to get a marketplace too. The fact that we don't have one is pretty rough. Okay, I'm dead. Let me breathe. <laughs> yeah right dude yeah right no way bro not happening today okay okay so we have a little bit of gold going not much just like the most bronze like mining route I've ever seen over here uh, let's get a marketplace please You won the last tourney, bro. Here's your prize. 
<laughs> you won the last tournament. Here, here's your prize. Oh my god. I love it. Okay. All right, so let's see here. I'm three supply. Let me chill. Why would we? Oh, yeah, you're three supply rebuilding a TC on the island, just being all sneaky and shit. Look at this, dude. No, 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 no. We don't. We're, we're good here, dude. We're chilling. All right, let's pull you back. The English fleet is, is, is taking it easy here. All right, let's get the brave sons of England to go score some goals, as they as they like to do. Oh my god, is he sieging the, the Red Palace? It looks like the Red Palace is being besieged. I'm going to actually just pile in on that shit and see if I can kill it. I think I can. Oh my god, the Red Palace DPS is insane. <laughs> Go, sons of England! For the Emperor! For the Emperor! <laughs> Alright. So, there we go. Alright. So, there we go. That was, that, was, that was one way of doing it. You know, honestly, if he hadn't complained, I might not have attacked him. But when people complain about that stuff, I'm just like, oh, dude, we just gotta go for it. Alright. <laughs> the brave sons of England have done it. The bronze lords ro ro rose up. The, we rose up. All right, there we go. Yes, good. All right, so now we need to re reclaim this island because this this was originally our colony. So now we have to kind of see what's going on with everybody else. Obviously, we got the farms going, which is good. Most of our island will be covered with farms eventually. No, GG. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I mean, that's that's a, that's pretty normal in FFA. If, if someone's the strongest, I mean, dude, he was taking the Sacred Island. He was crushing. Here's the thing: if they if if he was able to crush me, then um, you know, I it would have been probably hard for the others to hold him back. Okay, so we're being attacked now, which is cool. Let's get you guys going. And do this and just get the arrow ships and demo ships and everything. We have the, the brave sons of England here. That's a, that's what they'll be forever called. Why am I can I not attack that one? I'm probably gonna not trade super hot in this naval fight, to be honest. Let's see. Oh god, the Malian swarm! I just have all these dudes like trapped here on this island. Lol. <laughs> Better get these longbows upgraded, huh? We'll pull back to the Berkshire Palace. Oh my god. What does he have left? So much. And I just have like all the supply tied up on this island. Why can I not attack that? There we go. Okay. That was weird. Like my troops were trying to repair the enemy enemy stuff. Okay. We got galleys. We got galleys. We got some warships, I think. We'll send in the transport ships as a distraction to absorb shots. All right, so here we go. Let's do it. There we go, all right. So now we're fighting back a little bit. Let's get the demo ships in there. <gasps> nice. Dude, the Malian, the Malian firepower here is no joke. If only they came a little bit closer to the Berkshire Palace, that would be the dream. Oh no, I'm being harried. I'm being raided by the dreaded Malian pirate lord. Okay, we gotta, we gotta start taking the naval fight seriously. I, I have like barely any naval production whatsoever. Okay, so let's get you guys up. He's not close enough to Barkshire either. Thankfully I built these like random ass cannon towers all over the place and they're actually doing pretty good. That's one way to free up uh, farm real estate. Okay, Barkshire shooting. He's trading Turin. He knows. I actually did not know he was trading. So you just, you just, you're the uh, whistleblower there. I don't feel like longbows will be super good here, but I don't know, I guess it's better than nothing for defending my shores. All right. So I just have a million troops here, just chilling. Okay, where are we at? Five, and you guys can jump on this. And the ships will continue coming, I'm sure. Need to get some houses, because I'm supply blocked like a potato. 
Alright, so let's go down here. And cool. Alright, so we should be able to stabilize here. Unfortunately, a lot of units tied up here not doing anything. Not much I can do about that. Let's cut the trebuchet. He just absolutely plowed my, my coast there. <laughs> absolutely. Oh my god. The brave longbowmen of England. You must fight. Uh, do I want to build a keep here or something? I don't know. It doesn't really feel like a good idea. Alright, so warships are gathering. Hopefully, Berkshire will protect our northern shores. We have a million, uh, million men-at-arms kind of hanging out there. Oh my god, you guys get over here. We have plenty of food, I guess. That's not really an issue for us. Wonder is on the table. Okay. Let's get a combination of warships. We'll get a big navy. We didn't actually take that much damage from that. Definitely hurts, but... Nothing we can't recover from, so. All right, so you guys, let's get inland. And uh, we would like to get a transport ship too, if we can. So take some workers up there. I'm your worker. Oh my god, so much supply tied up in those men-at-arms. All right, let's get up here. What we'll do is we'll build, a, we'll build a, a keep on the bottom side also. Okay, upgrades. Uh, I don't think I have a marketplace anymore, so we're gonna build it here. I think he destroyed it. Okay, looking good. Yes, good. Gather minions, gather. Mm. Okay, we got the rally. I have some longbowmen. Let's go see how the longbowmen fare against these boats. Probably just gonna get smashed, I would wager. All right. Let's get back, guys. Gather up the boats. We have the warships ready. I might need to delete that men-at-arms army there. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to fight his navy. Like, these guys are just doing nothing for me. And there are 55 of them, so. All right, so we're attacking into his boats. Uh, let's get demos and Karax and all the other good stuff. Looks good. I feel like arrow ships would probably just be really good against this fleet. But we are making some progress. Some of them are getting sunk. So we'll pull back and try and lure them to the Barkshire Palace. Which has obscene range. Yep, okay. He's in range of Barkshire now, which is good. He's definitely doing naval trading, so we gotta we gotta put put a stop to that. It's another Hulk. So just keep fighting. Alright, so we've cleared out his uh, his navy now. Good. Nope, oh, hello. Transport ship. Come over here, please. Let's not lose that transport ship. Boom and boom. Alright. There you go. So let's get you guys geared in here. We have survived. England, of course, is an amazing sieve for survival. Okay, looks good. So you guys are going to be going. Let's get the demo ship upgrades because that's going to be highly pertinent. Uh, most of my infrastructure is destroyed at the moment. Yeah, including all the houses I just built. So let's build some more houses over here, I guess. Go! Go forth! Let's get the religious building. And, uh, yeah, we need to get some, some gold going again, too. We have 57 on uh, wood. A little excessive is an uh, understatement. All right, let's do that. Oh, he's back. Back for round 10, huh? Well, I'm trying to fight this navy. It's no joke, man. He's, he's doing some work. I might need to pull back. Okay, we have more ships here, so let's turn and fight. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop this. This is kind of scary. All right, let's move you in. Oh, my God. He's got so much. Oh, my God. His navy's huge. Oh, God. The Malian navy, bro. It's so colossal. Oh, God. The Malian navy. Oh, God, bro. Berkshire, save me. No, 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 no. You guys go back over here. Oh, dear God. That navy is ferocious, bro. How do I beat that? I guess demo ships? Is he really going to come for the Barkshire? That's pretty ballsy. Okay, he's coming for it. We'll get repairs on it. I think I survived this. I'm going to lose a lot of bills, but that's not a big deal. We can replace them. Oh my god! Look at the damage! Jesus, bro! That's insane! 
How do I kill that? The Malian war canoes do so much damage. Who would have thought? Oh my god. Alright, you guys need to repair that. And then you know, this and this. Alright, let's get you guys running over here. I'm trying to wear this navy down, but it is unholy. Okay, so let's get you guys back here. They do so much damage. Alright, so we're fleeing the scene for now. We're like, we're like, alright, peace out on this. I can't stop his navy. His navy's too strong, guys. We we have to we have to just resort to being a rat now. Alright, so gather up what we can here. That navy is so strong. Oh my god. It is so powerful. Alright, let's get you guys. Do this. And we got this now, so we need to start making more bills. It is no joke. Those little war canoes having the cannons on them is crazy good. Okay, at least we can keep making some ships. Let's get you in here. Alright, we're still alive though. We're not dead. I mean, I feel dead. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm, I'm in great shape, but you know. We've fallen on worse times. Oh my god, come on. Okay, he's got a little fleet here. Maybe I'll be able to fend them off. I'm not sure. Is that, and that's without trade to back it up, too. Yeah, I have to hope he kind of runs out of resources on us, don't I? That's going to be one of the plays. Okay, we, we fight him in the in the past where his numbers count for a little bit less. Okay, run the big ships. Run the big ships. Get the demos by. Okay, we just got like a huge demo. Oh, we just demoed his fleet pretty hard. Okay. Come on. Come on, England. We must hold. All right, looking good. Oh, someone's trading. Teal trading. Okay, we're going to have to Palpatine a little bit. Looks like we fended off the Navy, but at a great cost. The Barkshire Palace was absolutely hammered into oblivion. No, you don't. Trade to the north on small island. I literally see it. <laughs> There's a, he's like trying to lie. I love it. I'm like sitting right here, dude. Oh my god, I love it. I love the haggard politics. Alright, Barkshire. Look, look, he's trading. Look at this shit. It's not much, but it's something. <laughs> that's so funny, dude. Alright, so we need to get um, the English farms online, but that's not going to be easy with the, the space that we have here. Okay, let's do that. And then you and you. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright. So we're alive, sort of. Just make a bunch of warships. Yeah, so we have our little arrow towers now, which will eventually kill his trade ships. Barkshire is coming back online, so that's that's really good for us. And uh, we want you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight. <laughs> I love it. This is such a meme, dude. Can't be too sure. Oh, there's definitely trade going, dude. There's definitely some trade going here. Okay, so our little arrow tower should finish off his trade ships eventually. Oh god, he's got a Karak coming. He doesn't like me shutting down his trade. Oh, he's the Holy Romans. Interesting, okay. Okay, let's get some more docks here. Get these workers to the other side. I'm your worker. I'm piecing out of here, dude. I don't want any of this shit. Dude, those Malian, like, grenade launcher ships are so brutal. <laughs> They're so brutal. Do I only have one dock online right now? Holy shit, he actually killed all my docks. Wow. Okay. I thought I had a couple more docks, but I guess I was wrong. So I need to get like all these online right now. Dear God. He's been discovered. Yeah, he's been ratted out. 
Oh man, I love it. Okay, so we got the, the farms going, which is going to give us the English gold. And, uh, I mean, we do have this, which is really big, and I haven't grabbed that because I don't want anybody to know I'm, like, chilling here like this. Okay, so let's get these docks up and get the uh, naval arrow slits. Those will be good against the boats. I think they do a little bit of extra. All right, let's get a marketplace. And good. We got all the docks up now. All right, let's just get all these boats going. You guys, in the meantime, can just go lumberjack the rest of this wood, which is going to be pretty essential. I wonder if anybody's, like, close to a wonder. I doubt it. Oh, God, not again. They're back, dude. I thought I thought I, I, I had suffered the last of it, but they come back for blood. We're about to have, like, a, a big naval fight with them, for sure. He's got demo ships in the mix. Uh, you guys can just go up here, just chop some random trees, and uh, yeah, unfortunately that guy's just, he's just going to be trading. Okay, it's fine. There's, there's tower, those are just wood towers. Yeah, going to lose a lot of houses too. It's going to be painful. I feel like uh, the cannon ships like kill the keeps so quickly, it's pointless to build keeps. Dude, these war canoes are just, are just a zerg. Okay, so we're gonna gather the English fleet, the royal, the royal navy here, and try and try and do something. Can we get a trade going. It's a good thing we played England, man. Any other save, we would just be like out of gold here on this island. Okay, let's do this. Let's do that. I wonder if the uh, English towers like buff, um, if they buff uh, other boats and stuff. Stone, please. Okay, let's see. I think the Holy Romans are still trading, straight up. So we have a big ass fleet, man. We could probably fight the Malians. Like the English, the English Royal Navy is pissed after last time. They've come prepared against the Canoe Legion. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, the brave, the brave demo ships charging in. I love it. Well, I think we. I do have the better range, so I should have more ranks of boats shooting. Okay, he's getting in range now. Oh my god. The Mali and Navy are just insane. I don't... Yeah, because I can't run from them. They're faster than me, so I just got to stand and fight. Let's hopefully get more reinforcements coming in to help. New Bills can uh, head on over to this gold node up here. Uh, sure, we can get this, and maybe get this upgrade as well. Oh my god. The Malian Navy is wildly strong. I almost played Malians today, too. I was, like, pretty close to it. Okay, we got a, a wild demo ship in there. Oh my god, I just can't take them. They're too strong. I just gotta let them, like, raid my, my shores until I can, uh, attrition them down. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, I'm not taking any relics. Okay, so we need to get these vills, like, away from the coast. Here, you guys just go mine gold in the meantime. We'll be able to hold them off eventually. It's going to take a while, though. Uh, what are these good? Strong against arrow ships, yeah. So I think those things are considered arrow ships, right? Oh, my God. The damage is obscene. Let's get the attack speed upgrade. I don't actually know if that plays into ships. Dude, like, look at this fleet. It's so strong. How do I fight that? Is there any upgrades I can get that would help? I don't think so. I think I'm toast. I think I'm dead, because, uh, yeah, now the Holy Romans are attacking me. Teal is trading north. I swear. <laughs> I have to totally Palpatine it now, guys, because my island can't, like, it's everything's right on the shore. <laughs> Oh my god, the Malian Navy, it's relentless! Okay, Barcher's in range! Thank the Dark Gods! Okay, we'll keep running here. Oh my god, hold the Malian Navy back! <laughs> the Tyrants of the Sea! He's the sea monster! Oh my god! They're spraying all chips? Okay, got it. So yeah, it'd be, um, yeah, it'd be, I guess, Karax are fine. Jeez, bro! God damn! Looks like we survived just barely. Only for this shit to happen up here. 
Okay, Holy Romans are gonna get the relics. I'm not even worried about the Holy Romans at this point. It's it's just surviving the Malians, dude. Okay, let's repair landmarks. And uh, we need to... How many eco do I have? Oh my god, my villager numbers are so pathetic. Alright, so let's get you guys uh, setting up farms by the Berkshire. Alright, so we survived. Like, I feel like... HRE took Relic Island North East. Had three relics on it. All right, Holy Roman's got those relics, man. I'm still alive, though. I'm, I'm holding on by a thread. I'm holding on. Yeah, demos demos are good, but honestly, he's got such a big fleet that he just shoots them down before they even get in range, so it's kind of like... It's kind of point. It feels like it's not doing much for me. He does have relics. Yeah, he's got the island now. Not that I, I might be able to take it back now. You know, I, at this point, I just need to focus on getting my economy back online and just not not dying. I've, I've managed to muster decent fleets. There you go. Okay. Thankfully, we had a huge surplus of wood, but that's going to become very sparse. I think I just need to survive until like everybody starts to run out of resources, and I just have gold still, and they don't. The the true English way. Yeah, let's get some towers here. The cannon towers? Uh, I don't know if they would do that much. The Malian ships seem to kill them very quickly. Okay, so the Malians are now going for the, the teal HRE here. So that gives me a little bit of room to breathe. Like a little bit. Not much, but I can, I can take a breath. Hey, you know, on the bright side, he absolutely plowed my base. So I get to re rebuild it now in a more orderly fashion. I literally have to build houses like here. Okay, let's get you over here. Okay, oh. Oh my god, look at the Malian trade. Oh wow. Okay, this is actually a big win for us. Because we killed a lot of the trade ships. Nice, nice, this is a big win. So we need to continue building Navy, obviously. Uh -huh. I just got some satisfaction. Those are fishing boats. Okay, so we shut down his trade for now. His his gravy train will perhaps come to an end. I have not much else to do on this island. Uh, let's go back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh God, the dread navy has returned. The Dread Navy appears on my shores. I'm trying to think if there's any like shoreline artillery I could reach them with. Maybe like English Trebs. Oh no, you destroyed my only dock? Oh, God, not not this again. We all know how this battle goes. We've seen this song and dance many times before. Well, I'll just fight it. Screw it, man. Yeah, HRE are getting their relics. Probably the only chances if HRE and I team up. Because his Navy is just so much better than ours. I killed... Some trade teal, but we must work together. He's he's far too strong. All right, so we got you guys. Uh, do we have a, a trade trade post anywhere? <laughs> I like how he just says no with his like his little chat thing. It's hilarious. Okay, come on, build that trade post. I need some stone. Don't do it. It's a trick. I'm literally <laughs> dying in the corner. A small price for three relics? Yeah, see, man? There you go. I let you have those three relics. It's not like I could have stopped you. I totally could have stopped you. Uh-huh. Let's actually see how good these are. These, like, little naval emplacements here. I'm going to kind of see if they can help. And I could just, like, at least defend back here. Okay, is there anything I want to do here? Maybe just go, like, annihilate those berries real quick. Uh, springs work on chips. Just mass like twelve of them on the short. Yeah, yeah. Springs. Well, I guess I could. I could do this. And I'm like the the Holy Roman Navy. I know I can fight. Right. I know I can handle the Holy Roman Navy because they don't. I feel when I was playing Malians the other day, I was actually um, trading into Chinese navies pretty effectively, and I was I was really shocked by it. Berkshire is just super Chad. That's gonna that's gonna save me here. 
Okay. Oh, no. Hello. One and two. All right. Let's go see if we can shut down some of the water here. We have to we have to cut the head off the beast. All right. Let's make some more navy. I'm running out of wood, though, guys. I literally... I have some on the edge of the island, but that's like about it. All right. We got to keep putting dents in them here. Oh, demo ships, get in there. Okay, we put a, a decent dent on the front row, but... Trying to help here. Okay, we killed some stuff, but yeah, we should just fall back. This is... I don't know. Unless the Holy Romans help me, I don't think I'm going to be able to deal with the Navy. It's too strong, dude. Come on, Navy. Okay. So we're getting some towers up on the coast. The dreaded canoe legion, man. Who would have thought a canoe would be defeating a giant, like, <laughs> galleon-style warship, man? Oh my god. Look at this. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of getting some land-based traps, but honestly, I'm, I'm kind of, like, uh, running out of wood. I might be able to, like, land some dudes over on the shore here, so let's get you guys and build a couple of transport ships. Oh god. Same. All right, he's got a wonder. I'll keep going until I can't. All right, so we got you guys. Let's grab, um, got 18 bills. Let's go get, jump you in there. And I do need to probably prepare a landing force of some sort, although I don't have like any wood. Oh my God, did the other guy get in? Emperor Jarn is yelling no in all caps. Come on, baby. I hear some wild shit going down. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see if we can just get these docks down. So we're here. Did the Holy Romans get in? I think the Holy Romans might have gotten in somehow. The fact that he's like re responding like that is, is quite good for us. Ram it all, baby! Oh my god, the Holy Romans, they got in! No way, bro. No way the Holy Romans got it in. Did they really get back there and shut it down? Oh my god, look, the wonder's dying! It's dying back there! Meanwhile, we continue our trading here. Okay, let's get you out here. Okay, let's just do this. Buy this, and uh, we can just harvest some wood. This is what I get for being impatient? Yeah, dude, you were totally dominating, but it looks like his, his th shit's gonna die! Oh my god, the Holy Romans Ramsteined him, dude! They made him listen to Du Host! Oh, wow. Wow. I can't believe that shit. Teal will go for a sacred victory when I'm dead? Well, yes, perhaps. I, uh, I have, I have planned for this, sort of. We just gotta like keep him back on his uh on his deal there, yeah. Okay, so let's get you. Trade for some uh some bombardos. I die with no regrets. Hey, you're not gonna die. Are the Holy Romans gonna kill you? I don't think they're gonna kill him actually, are they? Okay, can we can we fit this here? Not yet. Okay, all in due time. So we need to go exact vengeance, dude. I can't believe he actually got the kill there. That is that is some ins insanity. All right, did we ever get elite army tactics? I feel like we didn't. The Holy Romans seem to have a pretty big navy. Okay, yeah, no, no. Okay, we pull back. Look, I like how he's attacking me. He's just. Uh, one last, one last hoorah here. For old time's sake. Good old Emperor Jarn, what a shad. Alright, so let's get you. Oh wait, my final landmark is on the sacred island. Uh oh. Look at this, what are you doing bro? Come on! Okay, let's take down these warships here. Oh my god, I can't believe this. This has just been hog wild. Alright, let's get you guys. I think that's going to be the way. Just cheap, affordable. 
units there. Um, I don't really have any way to get naval trading because it's like up here around here. <laughs> I legit forgot. Enemy destroyed Jaren's landmark. Wow, so the Ramstein is real. Alright, so we need to get crossbows upgraded. I need 700 Gs for that, so it's a little ways off. Okay, so let's get this. Do that, and then we want to get Trebs. Sell some food. Get a Treb. Here's his last landmark. This is actually his last landmark, legitimately. So let's just bring you guys down to repair. Take this army here. Do this, and we can sneak out here and kind of place this down, see what's going on. And uh, probably going to need some army tactics as well. I don't think I ever got that. Dude, Jaren, I, I thought you had this game in the bag, dude. I really did. All right, so you guys need to just keep chopping through here. All right, team. Let's get in the transport ships. Two and three. No, not the cows. Oh, no, the cows are getting it now, too. That's how you know things are getting really grim dark. Yeah, we'll need to upgrade those guys soon. All right, load into the last one, guys. There you go. Perfect. It looks like almost everybody fits. So let's go get you guys up. Keep the Karax uh, coming here. I'm going to cry now. Oh, no. Not like this, brother. Not like this. Okay, so we need to get the Holy Romans off this island like that. All right. Drop you, drop you, and drop you. Keep the Treb going here and here. And we can go ahead and take everybody in. All right, team. Let's go get the English boys in there. Let's go score some goals for England. What a haggard fleet. I know, my fleet is incredibly haggard. It's true. All right, so we need to just get some ships. Oh, my God. The, the HRE war fleet is coming. All right. So let's get you guys up on the keep here. Torch that down. I don't know if I can actually hold this. The Holy Roman fleet coming this way. I mean, I do have some spring towers and stuff, but he's got quite a bit. Maybe Barkshire can. All right, let's get you guys gathered here. Okay, so we're taking back the Haggard Island that was once ours. Jaren, Jaren will live. But yeah, look how good the uh, the Barkshire Palace is. It's just straight up like killing those boats from downtown. For England, James. <laughs> For England. <laughs> Christoph, I'm already dead. Come on, baby. Did we get it? It's dead? Is it dead? No, it's not. Oh my god. Can you keep shooting, please? Oh, for the love of the Dark Gods. Alright, so I would call that a success. I would call that a, a minor victory. We've almost got this down. And now these Chad villagers can come here and they can build a... Okay, we got this. Sweet. Alright, guys. Mission accomplished. Let's get these bills back on their farms. Back to the old farms you go. Back to ye old farmsteads. And uh, we can get you guys to vote up there. Alright. So we get a religious character. Let's do this. And in the meantime, let's just set up some towers here for the attack speed buffs. Holy Romans will be back. They'll be back in numbers. Our little haggard woodline cut through was uh, was pretty fun, but I don't know if it'll save us here. Yeah, we need to get our army back to the mainland, it looks like. Yeah, what has he got there? He's got some cannons. All right, so we need to gather you guys. Let's go get our army here and gather you guys down. Uh, he's landed at my base. I think we can hold this, maybe, with Barkshire. There's a slim chance we hold this, but it's definitely possible. All right, guys, so get in the boats, get in the boats, grab this. And uh, the men-at-arms, we're just pulling back to Barkshire Palace, basically. Okay, let's just get crossbows. That's, like, pretty much the only good unit we can make against his army comp. Pull him into an overextension towards Barkshire, and then we just fight. And uh, let's land our uh, the rest of our army over here. Can we get the landing here? There we go, okay. Why is it not letting me land these? 
There we go. Alright, so we're gonna have to push him off our island. He's got a lot of rams. I'm making 15 wood a minute. Hey man, I believe in you. As a matter of fact, let's start repairing this landmark, just in case. So yeah, this is like do or die for us here. How's our how's our navy looking? It's pretty decent. We might actually be able to defeat his navy, which um, in that case would give us some, some good tools. Houses. And army. We got 45 men at arms. Maybe we push this back. Maybe we do. If we can win the naval fight, maybe we're okay. Let's get this relic. Do this. Grab the sacred site. Get you guys back on the trees over here. I do have Barkshire in the corner. All right, Jaren. Ten hours until you're able to rebuild. I'll take it. No complaints here, brother. All right. So he doesn't have any more reinforcements on the island now. So we can actually um, we can actually dive him. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our men at arms. We'll obviously finish off the rams. Okay. Man, I just have no houses. I wonder if he's doing naval trading. I mean, we did take the sacred sites here, which is really nice. All right, so let's get you guys to go after this. You guys to go after this and this. Basically, just diving the artillery. Yep, looks good. As long as the cannons are down, he's not going to be able to push Barkshire. So that's all that matters. All right, looks good. He's got no cannons. We'll take this one down. Take our navy around the coast. Let's go attack. And now we don't want to fight maces with, you know, sword and board, so... We're just going to get some of these guys and, and rebuild. Um, Alright, cool. So do we have transport ships here? We do. We, we're going to move you guys up to our New World colony here. And, uh, yeah, okay. We need to shut down his trade, like stat. So let's get you guys... Go build this. He's making more rams, but we're going to have guns in Berkshire, so we should be okay. And, uh, cool. Let's go and load here. Do you have any way to, like, make farms up here as well? Hmm. Oh my god, it's like literally producing two units. It's so pitiful. <laughs> no reinforcements for you. Alright, so we gotta patrol this. And as a matter of fact, what we could do is we could take some of our faster ships and move them up here to shut down his trade. We'll do the dreaded trebuchet spam. And uh, we'll get Karax as well. We might as well. It can bombard the, the coastal fighting. Alright. Let's get you guys here. Just farming. So now our wood eco is going to be pretty good. Go throw that fleet at turn. I'm already dead. Oh, so he thinks. Alright. So we got our guns. Let's go ahead and pull back. We need to kill the trade. Okay, pull him back to Berkshire. Where his numbers count for a little bit less. Get the cannon. Ship's coming. And uh, we also need to... Yeah, can we get more houses? Oh, shit. That isn't fully repaired. That's unfortunate. Alright, so no more trade. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. See if we can get a little bit cheeky there and try some funny business. I really do need some wood, though. Like, bad. All right, so guys, our, our island, we've survived, which is pretty cool. For how long, though? Who knows? Who knows? And it looks like he's coming to shut some of this down, so let's get you guys over here. I literally have, like, no men-at-arms here. Okay, let's build some houses. I thought I built those a long time ago, but no problem. We got the haggard trade ships, which are not going to make it, so let's grab these guys, park them back here. Yeah, Jaren is, is... He might still be in the game. I don't know. He could be playing possum. Could be serious. I have no idea, honestly. But this is nice that we have this whole uh, little island base here. But what we need to do in the meantime is get um, some infrastructure here. Like actual military. There you go. Let's grab a couple of you guys and repair these landmarks slowly but surely. And hey, man, I mean, we're alive. Jaren, Jaren's kind of dead in the water. I don't know how strong the Holy Romans are at the moment. I would wager their walls are actually kind of helping me here, so I'm just going to leave those. What needeth be undone? Can't believe we're still alive. This is great. Let's get some elite crossbows, because they're like a cheaper anti-HRE unit. Let's do a little bit of this. Ah, the Holy Roman fleet comes. I must flee. Uh, I always wonder if these, like, things are worth it in the late game, these, like, defensive arrow positions. 
All right, so and yeah, get you guys, get some of these. Do a little spin to win. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, do I want to bring my guns down there for any reason? Probably not. Oh, he's landing a whole nother core of knights. All right, so let's get some men at arms and some crossbows, I guess. Jump in here. Okay, it's a small army. It's not like super scary. Looks like we were able to kind of fend those off too. I think Berkshire will allow us to hold. Like Berkshire is just such a brutal landmark to actually try and finish. Okay, so he's moving towards the palace and that's gonna be free kills for us. Still have a lot of wood being gathered, which is awesome. Are we slowly gonna be able to get back into this maybe? Let's go see if we can find any. I wonder if he's built infrastructure on my island. That's what he's really gonna want. Oh boy. Yeah, the Malians were no joke this morning. They were for sure the scariest, like, scariest uh, business I had to fight. Okay, let's get you up here. We do have this cannon tower still bombarding. He's doing, like, wave attacks. It's like little small wave after wave. It's pretty fun. All right, so we're going to need you guys to do some farming action. Do we have any space for farms here? Oh, my God, this is so bad. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, there's like no space. The only place I have a lot of like real estate is, is this uh is is the mainland, which is obviously in serious siege siege mode at the moment. I mean he's not even trading that much really. It's still it needs to be shut down. So let's get another boat up there. Alright, so we held off that wave that wave number two. I feel like I'm like it's like a, a campaign situation. Alright, we need to get like all this repaired stat, man. England is so, so, so durable, though. Okay, that's not going to work out. All right, let's pull you guys back here. Here they come, the giant warships of doom. Got the demo ship waiting for, waiting for its scraps. I wish I had a little bit more money. Okay, let's keep the hand cannoneers coming out. He's shooting at the TC. Oh no! I think I think the town center will shoot back and do some damage. Yeah, not much. Okay, so we need to just build this in the back. And uh, more ships, please. Let's get demos and whatever. Just get ships out. And we need to get the priest grabbing the relics. I love this little like island though. This is my favorite spot. It's my haunt. Oh my god, is that just a wild trebuchet? Okay, guns. Okay, you still got warships down there. It looks like it's only one. I think I think this was a mistake, this treb. Like, I think he just forgot about it. All right, let's do that. Oh, he's got a pretty big army here, actually. Okay, we should fall back to Berkshire. Back to Berkshire again. Back to the old palace we go. Okay, you guys, do this. Mainly spamming horsemen now, but we do have a navy here, so we should be able to pick them apart. Let's get you guys in some towers. And uh, we need to keep the villager production going, but yeah, it's so tough. He's got those big Chungus warships just sitting right off the old shore. Well, hopefully Jaren can get back, because I don't know how much longer I can hold. I mean, England's really good at holding, but this is uh, this is not going to be easy. Okay, so we got the Karax. How many big ships does he have here? I just can't quite seem to get the infrastructure back, which is which is my problem. I could get some siege equipment here. It might not be a bad idea, but I'm just so broke. Uh, yeah, sure. Crossbows, whatever. Don't really want to make spears because my spears are super under underdeveloped. Let's pull you guys down here. I think three of these are transport ships, sadly. No, they're they're actually hulks. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's go. Oh, did I get him? No, not quite. Well, Jaren, I don't know what you got, buddy. I'm looking worse for wear here. I am definitely feeling like I'm kind of dead. Especially since my villagers are being methodically last samurai. Alright, let's go down here, clear these out, see if we can get some breathing room. And then we can go back up. Is that a trebuchet? I don't like the sound of that. Do not like the sound of a treb. Okay, so his boats are fleeing. Uh, he's got a big old army. If anybody can hold, it's going to be old, the old English. Let's keep chasing. Um, siege workshop here eventually. Yes, we got that back up, which is good. Enemy capturing sacred site. All right. 
All right, Jaren. Jaren is still holding on, man. Okay, let's get you. I think we're gonna have this back online in a moment. And uh, do we want to get a treb here? We could get a single treb. Wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, we knocked down some of those ships. He's probably sitting very comfortable, though. He's setting up a beach out of my base now, too, which is really bad. It's really bad for me. We must unite, Jaren. <laughs> Former foes. Former foes. Oh my god, he killed the king's palace again. Oh no. Okay, let's get some farms. I have 10 pop. Out of 45? Oh god, he really did get flattened. Okay, it really is just me here. Uh, I don't think there's any way, guys. I don't think there's any way. Um, maybe we come and secure our northern island. Yeah, I think that's probably the play, actually. So we abandon this island and move to the north. We just, like, hold for as long as possible with Barkshire. I think that's the plan. It's it's an ugly plan, but it's all we got. All right, so let's uh, go take out these warships, if possible. Get another one of these. Oh, God. Oh my god, look how quickly they sunk my ships there. I no longer have trade on my island fortress. These are dark times we have we have fallen into. Transport ships are not distracting him at all. Alright, so the warships are trying. We have a decent little standing military here. So he'll go see if we can get some picks real quick. And then you guys need to repair the hell out of this so we can start getting some eco going again. Okay, he's charging with a bunch of horsemen and spearmen, which makes me think maybe he's not quite as rich as I thought. Since it's not, like, actually good units. I mean, he does have some men-at-arms in there, yeah. Nah, I see at least three trebs, so Barkshire is going to fall here pretty quick. All right, let's get the transport ship and abandon the... <laughs> save save the, the peasants. They must be saved. All right, so we need just, like, stuff here. All right, so let's get you guys getting some fishing boats. Get all the villagers out. This is definitely a doomed siege. Barkshire is going to fall, but we managed to get all the villagers out? Yeah, looks like it. That's good. And then we can start producing an army here. It's, it's going to have to be how we do it. And then on the coast, we can get some towers. Well, Jaren, I'm going to buy as much time as I possibly can to get you back in it. Where was turn when the Westfold fell? Dude, the Westfold fell a while ago. But, uh, you know, we're still strapping. We're still strapping. We have enough food to last, like, a lifetime, so I guess we just need, uh... Yeah, we have the relics. We have the sacred, so that's giving us a little bit of gold. Let's see if we can save the, the army, too. Oh! Oh, brave English! Okay, fight off the horsemen. Okay, guys. Come on, guys. Look at that. No man left behind, baby! Okay, maybe that ship... Oh! Oh! Oh, God, that was close. That was really close. Let's bring all them placement. No man left behind, baby. Let's go. Jaren and I need to... We need to have a, a Doom Legion, for sure. We need to unite. His 10 population plus my 88 will be unstoppable. All right, let's get Spring Towers. Let's get you guys coming here to finish this ship off. Let's go, dude. No more games. Did I ever get army tactics? I don't know if I, I don't think I did. Yeah, my men at arms are pretty weak, actually. Let's see if I can, like, get that somehow. Yeah, all right. Maybe I can shut down his trade here a little bit. The old English aren't, we're not dead yet. We're gonna get some fishing boats and get some food going again. All right, look at this. Look at that. Getting some work in there. Uh, Orange's base? No idea. I'm just trying to live, brother. I'm just trying to live. Okay, so can we get some more warships coming out too? We're gonna need more docks here as well. Alright, so we need to get the old English fleet. Oh god, he's landing. He's coming. It begins, the siege. We must hold! Sons and daughters of England! Okay, that's nice though. We got his trade shut down for now. Although maybe we need these warships to help with the siege. Okay, I think I think we can hold. Fight, brothers! Dude, I feel like I feel like it's it's the uh, when you know 
when Gondor is being sieged and like the orcs are running through the city and you see like the soldiers desperately fighting the orcs in the streets, that's like that's what I feel like we're in right now. Okay. So his trade is offline. Yeah, he's not gonna be trading. Which is good. Let's get this warship going here, and then we can also get this. Okay, let's get the villagers, move them up to the safer side of the island. So he's got a decent little army. No, I'm going to try and methodically pick it off. We'll pull this other galleon down here. I have to make sure he doesn't get like a foothold on the island. And like I can't really assault into his like warship line very effectively. Maybe I can. Maybe the brave the brave soldiers of England can. Let's wait for army tactics. Okay, let's pull you back. Let's go! Let's go, baby! All right, we gotta we gotta drive them off the island. Fight! Fight for your right to live! Oh my god, the desperate defense! I love it so much. Okay, he's got his dudes here now. So shit, we gotta we gotta like really really hunker down over here. Okay, looks like we maybe drove him back. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, that's good. Let's go get his traps. I don't know how much longer we can survive. I'm buying time for you, Sharon. I'm buying time for you, homie. If only I had a way of like effectively healing my army. Oh my god. Okay. I have no way of getting his ships is the problem. Let's get these Karaks coming out. No, 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 villagers. No, I need you guys. Let's lure him to the shore and see if he can torch his ships. Okay, villagers. There's literally nowhere to go here. I can't even reach you. Let's get the men at arms go loose formation. Okay, we got that down, which is a start. Oh boy. No, I think I think I'm done for. I do. I don't think there's any chance. We're gonna we're gonna try, obviously, but. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Let's get you guys coming out. I think we actually have uh, enough to build some more ships, which is cool. I like my only hope is if Jaren is actually rebuilding somehow. My only regret is not do Teal. Oh, Teal was for sure. Oh, yeah. He was cackling all game. Um, strong against arrow ships. I guess we can get some demo action. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Let's get some farms going. And get some farms going. All right, guys. We're going to keep trying to have these epic holds. It's certainly not easy, but we still do have a decent standing army of men at arms. And I believe we got army tactics finally, so that's good. And uh, let's have you guys do this. Okay. We're back in it, baby. Uh, let's go ahead and get a transport ship and go try and repair some stuff on our main island. Never say die, man. Never say die. I had all the good position, threw it away, rushing to wonder. It's true. Jaren, you did have this game in the bag, I think. I really do think you, uh, you had a pretty good winning position. It's going to... Is he actually going to get some wood here? I'll take it. All right, so farms are somewhat online. We do have these like weird stone emplacements on the docks. I don't know if they actually do a lot of damage, but something to consider. And uh, yeah, the trade post here. I warned them about the trading. I warned them about the trading. If I could give you some resources, I would, but I can't. All right, so we probably want to keep making military here, just like slowly making men at arms. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh god! Oh! Oh! Did we get away? Oh, that hurts. That had like a handful of villagers in it too, and like at this point, every villager is just like uh, so valuable to me. All right, guys. Um, Teal's base is all the way over here, probably fully entrenched. Probably wonder time. Jaren is sitting here. He probably has got nothing going on because he's probably out of wood. And then this one can get the uh, the emplacement if we want. 
I don't think you can trade resources here now, I don't. Wood, please. Nobody can give you the wood, sadly. It's just it's just not gonna happen. Alright, so galleys, they actually don't even cost any uh any any gold. Interesting. They really did change the way it all worked, which is cool. I do like it. Tithe barns, we got two relics. Let's get another big warship. I need to get a marketplace so I can sell food. Because I just have a shitload of shitload of that, so. Yeah, we have the little arrow emplacements on all the dock. Docks. Uh, maybe it'll help us hold. I'm not sure. The English men at arms getting some heals. Okay, here he comes. This is uh, this is where we we must hold. Is it just one ship? Let's see. Okay, that doesn't seem to do much damage at all. Oh, back you go. Come on, come on, England. All right, we killed one ship and we didn't take too many L's. He's landing mostly horsemen and spearmen, so that's that's a good sign for us. We need to like force an overextension on some of these units. Yeah, there we go. All right, hold, hold, brothers. Oh god, he's going for my last landmark. Oh, I gotta repair it. Come on, repair villagers. Come on. No. <laughs> GG. What a great game. Holy shit, that was a good one. Yeah, that was really good. Oh my god. All right, Chris has got it. There's no way he loses. It's over, lads. You see, the we got, we kind of got set back fighting Core in the beginning. He kind of all-ended us with like a proxy red keep. And uh, and we were forced to fight that. It didn't allow us to establish trade or anything like that. Yeah. How entrenched was he, though? Let's see. Yeah. And the, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's some good naval trade. I mean, it's not a ton per drop-off, but it still adds up. So he's just rolling in it. He's just rolling in it. England tried to hold, guys. We tried to hold. Didn't realize I was too greedy with that wonder. Yeah, Jaren, uh, if he had just reestablished his trade in Navy, I think he wins that game. Because nobody could hang with his um, his Navy. I, ca I got pounded repeatedly by the Malian Navy, like over and over. It was brutal. Hey, we actually had a moment where we almost got back there. Look at that. GG, well played. How are we looking, Gunhound? How are we looking with the lobbies and everything? All right. Uh -huh. All right, so let's see where we're at. We're going to do the old grand finals time. Well held, dude. That was a great game, man. The fight with the French doomed you. Ah, if you build barracks early on the North Island, you could have fought off core. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. It was hard, though. It was hard. Got a Warhammer question. Flying units should be able to hide in trees when they land. Oh, yeah, I think I'd be fine. Dude, the Malian Navy was brutal. We we traded so many resources into it. I am taking notes. I'm taking serious notes. All right, I'm going to check in the pods right now and see who's winning. Um, all right, so Nelosi, Slammer, Authentic Vice Pro. <laughs> did, did Slami die, die in his pod too? Did he get swarmed by the Bronze Masters? <laughs> I love it, dude. Oh my god. Dude, Emperor Jaren was the terror of this game, dude. He was he was the, just the scourge of my lands. The poor English villagers on the shore was just getting barraged nonstop. And I just like was constantly fleeing and having to rebuild everything. Are you going to observe the final? Yeah, of course, dude. I'm casting the final. Yeah, that's 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 the, how we do it here. That was a really fun game, man. Although, honestly, I don't even think England is that crazy on island. Like, there's way better navies than England out there. Yeah. You get the infinite gold, but, like, wood is more important. I'm starting to think, like, early naval dominance is, is like, Rus or Malians. Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, someone in chat asked, Jarn, you didn't believe that Teal was trading when you were attacking me? Yeah, yeah. They were, dude. I burned the coastlines of everyone except Kor, yeah. Yeah, Kor. Kor definitely got hammered. The aggressive proxy on the island um, definitely drew the ire. Plus, the thing is, if like you get in a game where it's just like you and Core, you know you're gonna lose because he's just better than us, you know. So you, like it, it, it's, it behooves you to take any opportunities you can. Yeah. <laughs> you guys like the Wookiee with the eye patch? Yeah. The Wookiee eye patch thumbnails. I lo I actually had a blast, dude. Island FFA is so fun. I would totally do that again. 
the landings and like the naval battles are actually a really, really good time. Oh, no worries, Shadow. No worries, man. All right, so let's uh, Gunhound. Let's start getting the lobby together for the uh, for the finals. So with whoever's done, let's just get everyone good to go. Let's get the finals lobby together. Yes, Chris won. All right, so the Rams eat wonders. Yeah, no kidding, dude. Chris, I, I our Holy Roman player in that game though. He earned the hell out of that victory. Like, he landed on the Malian Island with, like, the Holy Ramstein and, like, took that out. Like, he did a lot of work, all while maintaining trade. Like, it was uh, it was clean. It was really clean. All right, so checking to see who's won all the pods. And uh, Nelosi. Start gathering people. All right, let's check it out. I think Nelosi won the, uh, his pod, so we'll see if we'll start hosting there. And let me check with Gunhound. Uh, Gunhound, how many pods are still going? Should I do like a one v one game in the meantime, or do you think it's gonna it's gonna be soon? The tension all game was so stressful. It was a really good. It was really stressful. I got owned really bad too when I tried to build the Barkshire on the island and I got it shut down. I lost it like literally twelve hundred resources. My Imperial Age was so far behind because of that. That was really bad. Dude, the ramp sign was really strong. It was really, really strong. Yeah, it was great. Okay, checking in. Winners message me in game, please. Sounds good. So Nolosi is going to be setting up the lobby right now. So let's see who all the winners are. Yeah, so we got that. FFA pod winners are here. Aces. Everybody's done. So we're going to get the grand final set right now, and I will, um, I will, uh, I will, I will cast it. So Nelosi, if you're in chat, make sure to have a spectator slot open. Uh, make sure to have spec uh, spec slot on Nelosi. With no delay, should be fine. Looks like all the dreaded Conqueror players got got swarmed by the Lords of Bronzodia. Zlam, Slami and Kor both lost today. <laughs> they won the tournament last time in the 2v2 team tournament, and I think all the Lords, the peasants got their pitchforks and drove them into the water. <laughs> you know, just like the haggard rabble just pushing them back to the sea. I love it, dude. I love it. Yeah, that's so hilarious, dude. Yeah, your units with Malians are squishy, but your navy isn't. I felt like your navy was like just taking the beatings against mine. Yeah. Dude, the canoes, I'm not gonna mess with your canoes ever again, Jaren. You've taught me a you've taught me a lesson. <laughs> I'll just hide on my island next time. Yeah. Alright. They're gathering the lobby. Yes, go ahead and add him. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts. If you thought that game was fun, just wait for the grand finals. This is going to be a heated showdown. Our good friend Nelosi getting in there. I find the Red Palace and Barker best. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, the Red Palace, like if you get that on the edge of an island, like nobody's going to get it. I mean, French are insanely good in FFA. I would say French are one, probably one of the best island civs too. Because Guildhall, just like banking like 40,000 stone. Okay, dude, let's just build like 20 keeps on a on an island and just build a wonder. It's like, it's so strong. It's so strong. Yeah, Jarn, you traded super cost efficiently, dude. I was losing so many more ships than you, but I just like had a lot of resources saved. I had like 20,000 wood at one point, but you just drained it all. You should check out your Avity's game while the five minute delay loads. The winner was the last minute edition. Very exciting. Uh, we're about to start this one. Everybody's finished. So right now we're just assembling the legions. Yeah. Dude, the cannons on those ships, man. It was brutal. It was seriously brutal. All right, one sec here. Perfect, perfect. All right, looking good. Yeah, Nelosi's really good at French too. I'd be curious to see. 
And what's awesome, one, one of my favorite things about this community is we have uh, we have a really great group of people who play in our Discord and are always practicing FFA. And we see them just performing like champs, even against really strong, you know, traditional 1v1 players. Like they can hold their own hold their own in FFA, which is cool. I mean, obviously, if it gets forced into a 1v1, it could be tough for anyone. But, um, you know, the relics deal. Yeah, yeah. We eventually got the relics back, but it didn't matter. It was too late. He had like trade and, and a fully healthy economy and was just cackling at us. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, we're about to start. We'll see. Nolosi's got the lobby going, so... I wonder how many people we have in the lobby. Let's see. Um, What's it going to be? Okay, so checking in general chat. Yeah, so just waiting for a couple people here. Excellent. Vice bro and... Uh, Okay, so we just tagged those fine gentlemen. Looks like they're all set. Hey, we for waiting. All right. Cool. So everyone got the messages. Everyone got the message. Yeah, England is England is not bad on island maps. I do feel like your navy gets outclassed though by some of the other civs. You also don't have any landmarks that are like insanely good there. Like Council Hall is pretty much dead weight. Uh, it's okay. And then King's Palace is good. The second TC is always welcome. Um, Berkshire is good too, I guess. But it's not like a really, really powerful one that can give you like infinite resources of some type. Malians also can get infinite stone via the um, the Mansa Quarry. It's not like super fast, but you can get 75 stone a minute, which isn't terrible. It's not terrible. I'm excited for the casted final. Me too. It is nice to see all the action unfold. I agree, Patty. I like playing in them a lot. And I know we have the past couple times, but it's good to be able to cast the finals. Yeah. Yeah, the gold pits are also nice for Malians. If you get two of the giant ones, it's like 150 a minute, I think. So 300. So you can get like five, 600 gold a minute with the gold mining pits, which is the equivalent of 8, 16, 24, 32. Yeah, like, you know, four or five relics. It's really not bad. It's really not bad. Also, um, you can use toll posts on Malian ships in the water. You just put them on the shore and have the ship sail past them and you can collect tolls from them. So Malians do seem like a good island sieve. Like a really good water sieve. Abbey of Kings heal ships. Ooh, that's pretty good. I didn't know that, Adam. That's good to know. I'm going to have to try that next time. Yeah. Hey, thank you, Ben. I appreciate that. 4,500 free stone in an hour. Dude, that is not insignificant, though. If you're playing in an hour-long FFA game, okay, which is very normal, that is going to give you enough stone to build a wonder. Almost, right? Like that and like one node will get you enough to build a wonder. Which is good. That's really strong. Like hour long FFA is totally normal. I think that's very standard actually. Yeah. Cows and pits allow you to have a huge navy. That's right. Yeah, that's actually a really good point, Shetland. Like the fact that you get the cows means you don't have to have villagers like gathering food and you could just like put more towards, I mean, granted you have fishing boats. So I guess that covers your bases as well. One more and ready to start. All right, no, let's see. Appreciate you uh, getting that together. Gunhound, man, thank you for organizing this today. Super fun, man. And uh, looking forward to the next one already. This is uh, one of the things I look forward to all week. I, I like playing in tournaments more than I like casting, to be completely honest. Like, I know casting is my main jam, but I prefer to play because it's just, you know, who doesn't who, who doesn't want to play, you know? It's fun. It's fun. Jaren says, that's how I kept most of my navy up. Yeah, your navy was so much bigger than mine, Jaren. Like, every time you swarmed in with these canoes, I was just like, oh, my God. It was huge. Are they going to add more civs? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I bet you the next civs will be DLC. Probably, um, probably what's it called? Uh, let's see. Japan and there's going to be a Viking civ for sure. Like, uh, like I would say Japan and, and some sort of a Scandinavian civilization. 100%. I don't play much AOE, but thank you. I really enjoy your streams while uh, W got you. Oh, got it, man. Thank you. Glad you enjoy the streams. We got you covered. Oh, that's a cool trident. Oh, it's a golden. That golden trident actually looks really cool. I got to get into playing some team ranked. It seems like it's a lot of fun. I love casting slightly more than playing in games, but they're both so fun. Yeah, for sure. Got to be Japan and the Mayans. Byzantine? Yeah, Byzantine would be cool. Japan has got it. I think Japan will come, though. Yeah, they're, they're going to be really fun. Here's the dread the Dreadmeister, Nelosi. He's going to be hosting and uh, looking to compete here in the old FFA. 
playing ranked? Doesn't look like he's playing ranked right at the moment. No, mostly just team games, FFAs, things like that. Japan and Byzantines are fan favorites. Yeah, it makes sense. Definitely makes sense. All right, looks like we might be loading in. I think I see. Where is this going? All right, I'm looking here. It just magically disappeared. Here's Chris. Chris is the winner of our pod. Look at Chris doing us proud, dude. Coming in with the steel chair. Getting the W. He's got this like epic whale as his picture. Oh uh, yeah, Dune has the new faction. I haven't played it. <laughs> Peeling says Dune's been left in the dust. <laughs> For vlogs, let's say, hey, Misha, hope you're doing well. Gun help us turn rank team. I'm down, I'm down, dude, whenever he wants to. A little 2v2 action. I was thinking of doing 2v2 ranked where um, we just like, we grab someone from our Discord and we just like cycle, cycle allies essentially and just play team games. Waiting on authentic, then good to go. All right, sounds good. No worries. Uh, if authentic doesn't show up, I wonder. I messaged him, he should message you in game. Okay, sounds good. So Gunhound has got him. He's got him, baby. I wonder what civs we're gonna see. I feel like after that game, if, if people were like watching the game, like we might see more Malians. I think we might. Like I think they're sleeper strong in Island. I think French are really good too. Those Galeas, those like tier three bombard ships they have are, were really good. I had to, I had to definitely uh, swarm them to bring them down. Yeah, I'd be down to try Dune again. This is the second game. Yeah, this is the grand finals, Mark. And Sean, yeah, grand finals. So the winner of this will win today's tournament. FFA, we usually do it like this because the games can go two to three hours sometimes, especially on like big eight player ones. So, um, you know, two games is usually the sweet spot. I'd be down turn me and rotate other spots for a stream. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we would start and then we would just grab people in our uh, in our Raiders group for the uh, for the team team games. Nelosi saying a lot of China in the lobby. I think I think someone needs to go Malians, straight up. Oh my God! Does, don't the Chinese nest to be or the Chinese bow chads now? Don't they have um, nest to bees on them? Somebody, I think I saw somebody saying that. Yeah, that's pretty wild. The bow chan. Oh man, I bet they're scary. Okay, so where are we at? Checking, checking. Authentic showing offline. Okay, so he's checking. Yeah, Malians are a lot of fun. I wonder how Ottomans, what they can do in the water too. Like, do they have any like tricks? Let's see. So military schools, not very good on water maps. So I feel like that's kind of unfortunate. The one thing you can kind of do is get the, um, is get the trade stuff. So you can get the, the trading landmarks, yeah. Okay, so this landmark will give you like, uh, like 170 gold a minute, which isn't bad. I know they have another landmark that inc that augments the trade as well, right? So the Seagate Castle. I'll keep I'll keep scan an aura that increases trader and trade movement ship by forty percent and armor by ten. So I guess you could go for you could go for um, the Seagate Castle here, which is something. Yeah, you could go for the Seagate Castle. You get forty percent trade spit and it covers the coast as well. Not a bad idea. On top of that, you do get the free artillery. I think, I don't know about their navy. Like, what is the what does the navy even look like for these guys? All right, let's see. So, Dow, Hulk, Demolition Ship, Grand Galley. Okay. Large hold, which can be garrisoned by any unit. Very large range. Long range. Lower damage. Interesting. Nikarak. Why does it have lower damage? Very long range, I guess. Okay. It's kind of cool. I'd be interested to see how those things function. Huh. All right, so jumping back. Well, it depends on... Uh, no, I think we just, we could even... If he doesn't show up, we could just continue without him because... Yeah. If he's not if he's not showing, we can we can just start without him. It's fine. I mean, you know, it's, it's on him to be attentive and be at the tournament, especially if he won his pod. It'd be more fair to pull someone else from his pod, potentially, um, but we could just start without him, I guess, if he doesn't uh, doesn't show up soon. The Turner gun had to replace the notion. Nah, I, don't, I wouldn't want to do that. It's not fair. It would feel wrong if I managed to win, you know, since I didn't earn the spot. I wouldn't want to do that. Although I do appreciate you guys voting for me. 
Grand Galley is a naval military school. Oh, it acts as a military school training free units inside of a hull. So it's super cool. Oh, that's badass. It lets Ottomans be the hardcore Corsair lords. If I had known that, I might have tried them today. Great galleys are imperial academies on water. It can be set up to produce navy for free. Wow. That's really cool, man. Okay, I'm going to have to try that next time. That seems like a, a pretty cool tech. And any tar can you produce like artillery on it or just like troopers? I guess you could produce like a bunch of men at arms and then just like drop them off on somebody's shore. That's really, really rad, actually. That's really cool. How many we got now? And let's see. Let's see how many players we got now. We will find out. Uh, so GKS abused all of us in pod three with those nest to be Bauchons. Very scary. Yeah, it sounds like it. <laughs> Sean, yes. Got it. Copy that. Oh, you could probably. Cool. So just organizing here. If he's not responding, I think we're going to start the game right now. It's a shame. We'll be one down. Play as your eighth is the Malians. No, no, it's, I don't want to do that. It just feels weird. Yeah. But the production rate is slow as you do not get university bonuses. Got it. It's still not bad though. You know, you just like let it fill up with like 10 or 15 men at arms over the course of, you know, short period of time and or we could sub in someone from the other pod, or we could sub in someone from his pod. Yep, start it up. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, he's not responding, so. We'll roll. Here we go. It's game time, baby. The game will begin. You guys ready to see the Chinese navies? It's funny because if there's only like one or two Chinese, everybody's gonna be like, all right, let's take them out because they're OP on water. But, um, if there's like eight, if there's like six of them, <laughs> I wonder how many there's gonna be. All right, here we go, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grand finals of today's FFA tournament on the French. It's gonna be Nelosi. Chris is back once again, the winner of my pod, I do say, with the Holy Roman Empire. No bias there, maybe a little bit of bias. You know, you gotta root for the guy who took you out. Then we got the Rus and Otond, Slammer on the Chinese, GKS on the Chinese, the Malians on Renian and the Chinese on Vice Pro as well. So some very sweaty Chinese players. Looks like there's going to be three of them in total. But um, yeah, we got some other civs being represented as well. I feel like Rus are a little bit underrated on water. I feel like their fishing system is very good. And of course, their boats can uh, swarm you pretty nicely. And Rus do have some infinite gold via the hunting cabins as well as the landmark, uh, the tier three landmark. You don't go Abbey of the Trinity, but typically you go for the... Um, the, uh, I can't remember. It's the one that like spawns bounty in game and it, it lets you max out your bounty pretty effectively and uh, the high trade house, yes. So um, yeah, that is gonna be it for all of our players. Let's begin. I just realized my spring ship heavy Malian Dread Navy would be utterly tracked by mass demo ships. Yes and no, because your ships are, if you have enough layers, the demo ships will get popped before they get close. But yeah, maybe. Mass demo ships are a little bit risky. So who are you guys rooting for in chat? Let us know where your allegiances lie. Are you rooting for Nelosi, Chris, Anatan, Slammer, GKS, Renian, or Vice Pro? Yeah, I root for the rains down in Africa. Great stuff, man. We love it. We love ourselves a little bit of a, a little bit of 80s music here. So the game will be starting in just a moment. Players will load in. Malians could be a sleeper strong here, guys. But three Chinese? I almost wonder as if this is gonna become like a, like a team up, like a superhero team up, right? Like, are we gonna be seeing the French and the Holy Romans and the Rus and the Malians team up against the Chinese? And will the Chinese form their own Dread Alliance? Cause I honestly feel like three Chinese could probably take a three V four with how powerful their ships are. Really, really gonna be quite interesting to see how the politics unfold in this unholy battle. Renian for sure. Surprise entry. Kicks my butt. Is Conqueror 3 okay? So we got another... Uh, see, look, one of our strongest players here, a Conqueror 3 player. He is uh, he is indeed playing the Malians. And he kind of stuck under the radar. A lot of these more known kind of pro guys like Kor and Zlami who like to stream become targeted a little bit more probably. 
simply because they're very, very good and people know it. And they know if you if you get stuck in a 1v1 with them, you have no chance. So basically you have to, you know, rabble, you know, get all the peasants together, essentially. Yeah. So spawning on the east side of the map, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be Vice Bro. He is the Dark Lord of the Chinese. Up to the northwest, we have our Malian champion, Renyan. In the due north of the map, it's going to be another Chinese player. This is going to be GKS. And to the west of him, it's going to be Slammer and the Chinese to the southwest and Otan. And he is going to be on the roost looking to get those. Ooh, man. Talk about a... Oh, my God. This island for the roost is so busted. Is so busted. Do you guys know how much gold this roost player could be getting with like 10 hunting cabins here? Boom, boom. Just all over. Oh, my God. And so much wood. That's what she said. There's... Yeah. This roost player... Honestly, has a crazy, crazy amount of resources. Oh my god. To the south, we do have the Holy Roman Empire. A little bit more sparse as it pertains to wood, but pretty heavily wooded at the very least. Holy Roman's going to be helmed by Chris from our pod and uh, Nelosi over here on the east, and that is it. GG. Let's get this party started. Let's have some fun. Nelosi with the dreaded supply block. Going to be building a house over on the shoreline there. Going after the straggler trees, and now a dock is going to be coming up. But yeah, like this map, guys, for hunting cabin spam, I if this Roost player is is savvy with the Roost, which Roost are actually one of my favorite civs to play. I really, really like playing them. Um, I think that hunting cabins could just be brutal here. Like, and there's even a pathway to get back here. Like, you would get have cabins giving you like like a hundred gold, probably, if not more. Like very, very strong. So, up to the north, we do have our coastal trade post here. Coastal trade post here, very symmetrical map. Very, very fair map, actually. Like, nobody really has, like, a super OP position or anything. I mean, one relic on all the islands, it looks like. There's literally one relic on all the islands, and then um, there's two on the middle and one here as well. So, yeah, this is a very, very fair map. Yeah, we, we lost in our group stage. You can go back and check it out, collaboration. It was a really, really good match. Really, really good match, actually. Very, very close, but in the end, we did get karate chopped. We, we tried our best. We tried our best. So the Chinese building their villages. Everybody's going to be focusing on lumber pretty aggressively, obviously, because that is the smart play. We've got the supervisor here with his cool hat. I mean, dude, look how look how fancy this guy is. He's got that cool hat. He's like, it looks like he's doing dance moves. It looks like he's doing like a shuffle. The way he like moves his arms back and forth. Okay, he's kind of just like doing a little. There you go. See, he's like totally doing a dance move. Yeah, pretty rad. Really curious about the Malians though. That's kind of what I want to see. They're obviously one of the new civs. It's cool to see these tactics. Malians, as far as unique tech goes, their archer ships fire additional javelins. So they have a little bit of extra DPS. I don't know if they have any other unique technologies in water. I think that's the only one, which is the uh, canoe tactics, which obviously the canoe tactics were very, very good here. They were very, very good. So down to the south, Chris is back in the Holy Romans, supervising that glorious, glorious lumber line. It's going to give him a, a big economic boost. And yeah, Holy Romans don't mess around. And um, if they can get a couple relics in an island map, they're going to be sitting pretty good. And also the prelates are going to be augmenting your wood economy, but yeah, I still, what is the strongest island? So probably the Chinese, I would say. After the Chinese, I think like French were probably up there as well. A little bit worse than Chinese, but kind of close because of the guild hall. Um, maybe Malians are at, like shortly after that, honestly. I, from my experience playing Malians in island and water and also having them played against me a couple times, like I feel like they're really, really strong as well. Very strong. So down to the south side, we do have our... Lumber, Nelosi going hard in the paint. You can see pretty standard protocol. Fishing ships coming out. My question is though, who is going to be the first uh, settler here on the island? Settling the islands is actually very important because you're going to be running out of wood rapidly. This is this is probably one of the more unfortunate spawns is Vice Bro. He's got like a very small island. Granted, he is in the corner, which is very safe. Uh, like a wonder here is just super strong, but he doesn't have much wood. Like, he's got a couple wood nodes, but compare that to the Roos, who have, like, the, the like an entire forest right next to them, or a jungle, I should say. I'm not sure. But, um, yes, that is that. So, the Roos, just going to be farming away. No hunting cabins up yet. A little bit suspect. Is Anatand used to playing the Roos? Because normally you would be getting a ton of free gold right now by getting your hunting cabins up. I would honestly set up two or three hunting cabins, even in the Dark Age, on a map like this. Although, I don't know if he's really scouted. It looks like he's spending most of his wood on the chips here, so that is going to be the jam. Nelosi is going to be aging up. It is going to be the Chamber of Commerce. And if you guys haven't seen this, it is going to be a market, which uh, traders return 30% more resources. So that's pretty good. Really, really good on this type of map, right? For the Chinese, we do not see aging up yet. Looking around to see if anybody else is aging up. Malians with very standard. 
building the old uh, houses around the pit mine, going to be giving 100 gold a minute, which means you don't really need to farm gold in the early ages, which makes Malian really good at water because they can focus more on stone, or excuse me, wood, and uh, can get you know more of a naval focus than uh, civs that have to focus on gold, which is very, very good. Very, very good indeed. A lot of wolves in the mid. Looks like the Roos have gone mid, so very good play here. He brought his scout to the mid because the middle does spawn a bunch of wolves, so he's going to get a fair amount of bounty. Uh, so one wolf, two, and I think there's probably an, a couple other ones on the map. Only only three wolves on this entire island, actually. Kind of unfortunate. And yes, we have our first colonist. It's going to be Vice Bro. Yeah, I love it. So Vice Bro, he knows what I like. He, I like the colony play. And he's going to be setting up the barbecue of the sun here, which is really good. The barbecue of the sun eventually becomes like a keep, basically, with cannon emplacements and spring gold emplacements. So it's, it's very, very nice. And, you know, you could just start mining the wood here, taking these resources off the island. I think that is really, really good. So solid play, solid play. Barbecue of the Sun, tough to remove, man. 5,000 HP, for example, you know, the TCs, which are one of your main landmarks at 5,000 or 7,000. So it's kind of in that same ballpark as well. Now, what is the over under, I must ask you guys, on naval invasions, coastal landings? Do you think we'll see any early coastal landings to try and knock a neighbor out? Looks like GKS gonna be taking more of a conservative approach, setting up the barbecue of the Sun on the coast and getting the Imperial Academy, which means he's going to be getting Song Dynasty for that villager production, so he's going to be sitting pretty. That is for sure. The Roost is getting their glorious fishing economy going, and it looks like the extended fishing lines have not been researched quite yet. Aachen Chapel, obviously coming down to the back. Really, really good setup. He put it near the gold in the wood. This is a beautiful play here by Chris. Chris uh, was the winner of my pod, and uh, yeah, he, he got really good trade. Essentially, in our last pod, if you guys are joining a little bit later, he had a really nice win because I was fighting Core like one on one for a while, and then Jaren and I kind of teamed up on Core to try and take down the tyrant, um, and we took him out. And then what ended up happening was Jaren went for a wonder, and the wonder was then backstabbed by the Holy Romans. But the entire time he was building up trade, while Jaren and I were just like mortal combating each other. So he won with trade essentially, which was really really good, very good play. Um, over to the east. Losi gathering some stone. No stone being gathered, just mostly wood and gold. Looks like it's going to be a fast castle for the uh, for the French. We see a lot of gold being mined, very very standard, meaning they're probably going to be trying to get that guild hall up very quickly. And look at this, the first uh, naval incursion perhaps is here. Check it out. So we have the Hulk. The Space Hulk is here. It's going to be moving across, looking to do some battle with uh, Chris. Losi maybe going to strike out. Not sure. Looks like more fishing ships. Okay, looks like it's a very defensive Hulk. It's just going to be a single Hulk just to kind of chill out and take it easy. It's not going to be like a full-on aggressive push and things like that. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of landmarks with three Chinese players. There's just going to be landmarks all over the place. Malian setting up their second pit, and you can see they're not even going to bother mining it. At first, they're just going to build houses to get the gold, which should be quite nice. Melosi is going to be going fast castle, like I said, and we are going to get a guild hall in the back. So two landmarks next to each other. I would, if I were Nelosi, I'd probably build the Red Palace maybe on a different island. Although, if you, yeah, because it sucks. Because if you lose one invasion of your island and all your landmarks are there, you're dead. Like last game, I lost my island, but I managed to survive longer because I had my stuff on the other side. Yeah. So Guildhall is uh, getting built here. Over on the east side, we do have the Chinese just going bananas. And if you guys are Chinese players, you always want to make sure your supervisors are supervising your primary resource points there. And any naval conflict. It doesn't look like it. We do have the scout in the middle looking to uh, kind of poke around. Barbecue of the sun. And the Holy Romans have set up a colony as well. It's, it's a janky colony, but it is a colony. They got one villager who apparently took a couple arrows to the face. And it's getting pretty crazy. So, the Rus are attacking. Lodia Galley. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Oh my god, look at that. The Rus are stealing the boar off the coast. I love it. Oh my god, I love it. The Roos came and just did the boar line, the boar line theft. Oh my god, so the Roos attacked purple. So Slammer getting hit by the Roos fleet, but not really going to be able to do much against the Barbican. The Barbican will be able to kind of fend off any Roos pressure. Granted, will the Roos do some sort of a coastal invasion? Why are we not seeing hunting cabins from the Roos? It really is bothering me. It really is. Like this is, there's so much free gold to be had. But I mean, he's playing very well. He's doing a naval blockade. You can see he's blockading the Chinese and trying to kind of pin them on their island here while his galleys do move up the coast here and uh, they are on their way. Here they come. Barbican of the Sun. Let's see what kind of damage it gets here. That eh, actually doesn't even do that much. I guess you could sit and shoot it, but yeah, the barbecue has a lot of HP and high armor against those type of attacks, so it's, uh, it's not going to be too punishing. The dreaded Holy Roman economy is upon us, guys. They're going to be gathering stone here. One stone 
at a time. He will build this island up on his own. Now, Chinese up here are kind of chilling, but yeah, a little bit of a tough start for uh, our purple Chinese as he is getting attacked pretty aggressively by the Rus. And down to the east, it looks like these Chinese are very comfortable. Vice Bro just kind of chilling out. He's got his barbecue under the sun. He's gathering quite a bit of wood off this island, which is extremely cost effective. Uh, obviously, you know, getting like wood becomes the most important resource. Gold is cool and all, but you can't like escape your islands without wood. You need transport ships. You need all that kind of stuff. So wood is very, very essential. Yes, you can buy it through trade, but that becomes pretty inefficient as we do uh, kind of progress here. So yeah, there he goes. Okay. A man after my own heart. Anatan is going to be building hunting cabins and he's going to quickly discover how lucrative that's going to be back there. Oh my God. The Rus are raiding the Chinese, man. Check this out. He's got like, he's got knights up at his base. He landed them off the coast and China is going to be forced to build spearmen now, which is not what they want to be doing. Nelosi is probably going to go for the dreaded wonder victory, I would guess. The guild hall is gathering gold. And the reason why you get gold first is because it allows you to go fast imperial. And then you switch to stone at that point. That's a very, very common tactic. Nelosi is, man, look at this. Very defensive fundamental play. I love it. Getting stone walls on the entire island empire to make your base just like, like nobody will want to mess with you. And guys, look at our Holy Roman player. He's building this like haggard palisade here. I love it. In the meantime, the Rus are charging down villages, but the Chinese do have a couple spearmen coming out. So the spearmen should be able to kind of catch them and uh, give them the business. Castle Age being reached by players. Looks like our, uh, our green Chinese has reached Castle Age. Oh my God. Look at this. This Chinese player, GKS, it's going to have the most unholy economy if nobody stops him. He's got triple TC Song Dynasty. He's going to have like 150 villagers just like absolutely pounding every resource on this island. Now, Hunting Cabin, look at that. 44 gold there. I guess it wasn't dense enough. This one will probably give more, but that's really good. Relics give 80 gold uh, after the patch. So yeah, basically two of these Hunting Cabins is like having a relic and you can just build a ton of them, right? So you totally should. Very, very strong. So Chinese just kind of chilling out. Looks like they have a barracks here maybe to get some palace guard to try and push the Holy Romans off the island, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, nobody's really colonized the Northern Island yet, which is very surprising. Also, we're not really seeing any sort of a coastal trade at this point. I don't think that's going to be happening. And uh, are the Rus still sieging the Chinese? It looks like they want blood, man. But China's going to be getting castled right now. So Imperial Palace coming out. And the Rus also getting the high trade house. Okay. The Rus player, he knows what's up. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he has on this island and he's not going to squander it. So we got the hunting cabin here. Uh, this one's going to give some serious resources as well. I'm very, very curious to kind of see how this unfolds here. So 37 a minute is really good. This is probably going to give, uh, I don't know, like a couple hundred maybe. Yeah, we'll have to see. Looks like a colonist here. A little bit of a relic squabble. But Nelosi's able to get the relic. Taking the relics out of the mouth of the Holy Romans. Hunting cabin here giving 33. And the high trade house with 250. So the Bruce are essentially getting like 400 gold a minute from their relic, uh, from these these trade houses. And they could do more too. Oh my God, look how beautiful this is. Another hunting cabin to the back. See, that is how you do it, man. That is how you do it. I love that. Oh my God, is Ramstein? Chris is the Ramstein master, dude. Oh my God, Chris. So Chris killed several people in our last pod, or at least one person with the Holy Roman Ramstein. So he's going to be getting a ram push, I think against Nelosi, which is going to be hilarious. Nelosi will not be prepared for this. Nelosi's building the Great Wall, but if that Ramstein sneaks past this Hulk fleet, dude, oh man, that's going to be extremely brutal. We'll see though. Looks like he's gathering up. Let's go look elsewhere on the map. We do see the Roos battling the boars. Going to be getting some nice bounties. So currently the Roos have 380 bounty, which is normally an issue for them on island maps, but doesn't seem to be the case. Malians are building uh, Muso Fatty Warriors. So we see a fair amount of those. Um, just a very standard fishing fleet, not really doing too much at sea in terms of aggression but I would imagine there will be some funny business coming. Trade ships on the way. So it looks like a couple players could be trading here and uh, I will keep tabs on the Ramstein. Oh yeah, Chris is, Chris is gonna rapidly become a fan favorite here, I think, as he's, uh, he is, he is, he is gonna be blasting Duhast pretty hard from his speakers. Can you just imagine like the Ramstein band just with their ridiculous outfits, like <laughs> Duhast blasting from the sides of the boat as all these big, thick German men-at-arms land on your shores. All right, the galleys should be able to fight here. Yeah, they'll take down the Chinese ship. And the Ramstein squads are on their way. So the Holy Romans want the, um, they want the center. They want this. Oh no, not like this. Okay, land it, land it, land it. Oh God, the anxiety. 
Okay, he lands the boys. So they're able to get off. And uh, it looks like the Holy Romans are going to get the island here. So Chris is not going to be attacking Ulosi. Rather, he wants his island, which I totally understand. There's a relic here. There's a sacred site. The Chinese are attacking his poor little colony. His one forlorn villager and scout just kind of chilling here and uh, being attacked. But here comes the Duhast. <laughs> dun, 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 just... All right, so he's going to be getting on the gold vein right here. We do have the battering rams and the men at arms. They should be able to take down the Chinese presence. China in response is going to be panic building a keep, but they only have two villagers. So if the Holy Romans press the tempo here, they should be able to get them off the island pretty quickly. Nelosi, as, as a result, is going to be able to get those walls up most likely. There's a Hulk here and uh, all is well. The Rooster, look at the Roost trade embargo here, dude. Oh my God, the Rooster just embargoing this Chinese army, but China is doing okay. They still have all their fishing here. They're not in bad shape. They'll be okay. So the Holy Romans are pushing, keeps coming up in the back, but it's going to be far too slow. And Sigmar will, he's going to claim this island for Sigmar, which I totally love. Who doesn't love Holy Roman Amended Arms? They're like the coolest thing ever. All right, so barbecue, the sun's going to go down. For sure going to get torched and uh, probably go kill those villagers who are building the keep. And it looks like he's going to do it. The keep is canceled and the Holy Romans have claimed the island for the emperor. So there they go. China is forced off and uh, Vice Pro is going to be forced back into the corner here. Granted, you know, he's in a good position. He's got a good navy. Setting up a lot of docks. Looks like he's going to be trying to get a big navy himself and uh, doing some work. But he does lose landmark here. So the Holy Romans with the island invasion. And now the Roos are going to be battling the Bao Chads. So the Chads are here, guys. Will the Roos be able to drag down the elite Chinese ships? I think they might have enough. We'll have to see. They have all these low attack ships. It depends on how upgraded they are. We'll have to see. But the Bao Chads, I think they might have bitten off more. Th oh my god, look at this! Jesus! And Otan, he's becoming one of my favorite. I'm actually really glad I lost in the last pod because now we get to see everything. I feel like we'd be missing out on so much if I had made it. And he has a proxy Spaskaya tower in Slammer's base and he kills a ton of Chinese villagers. And the Bao Chads were driven back, but oh my God. Oh man, look at the Bao Chads guys. They're gathering and the Roost fleet is looking extra haggard right now. I don't know if they have the tools to deal with this. Spaskaya is pretty strong, but it's, uh, it's going to get swarmed. He's got 20 villagers sitting in here right now. Oh, man. So right now, Holy Romans get their island. So they've claimed it for the Emperor. Uh, no other big conflicts, really. It looks like there's going to be a keep coming up to defend the trade site, which is going to shut down the Malian trade. And the Roos are having some serious naval battle. The Baochad's getting killed by demo ships. Demo ships coming in with the steel chair. Absolutely crushing the Chinese Navy. Oh, my God. And China gets flattened in the water, absolutely flattened, while the Spaskaya continues to cause problems. And look at this, he's stealing the lumber off this man's island. This is brutal, dude. This is brutal. Yeah, this Roost player is savage. All right, hunting cabins, 46 gold a minute, 250 gold a minute. I mean, he has got to be just bathing in gold. He's barely even mining gold, and he's at like 900 a minute, which is pretty crazy. The Holy Romans have gotten here. Nelosi, Nelosi, in all of my games playing with Nelosi, Nelosi is hands down one of my favorite people and favorite you know people to play with as well. Um, but Nelosi is playing, going to play for a wonder, probably just going to get like a million stone and just say, "Come at me, dude. You want some of this? Let's go, mate." And he's just going to get his wonder in his base, and uh, he's just going to do it. So the Rus doing battle with the old Chinese. You got the ballista ships. Spaskaya Tower going bananas. China is going to have to get some sort of artillery. They have the uh, the Great Wall. Not the Great Wall. Yeah, the Great Wall Gatehouse right there. But, like, honestly, the Roos could even build a, a siege workshop like and start trebucheting down the space, like, pretty hard. And the Roos are having just nasty fights with the Chinese at water. Oh, man, Demo Ship's going to get all of those. Oh, no. The Roos get counterpunched by the Chinese. Somebody, I love how somebody in chat just said Roos has this in the bag, and then like 20 seconds later, which is the delay on the stream, suddenly the Chinese are like, there's no more Roos fleet. Right? Isn't that crazy? Yeah, good old back and forth stuff. Always fun. But the Holy Romans definitely doing Sigmar proud, holding on to the Middle Island. Nelosi just doesn't care about what's going on in the rest of the world. Just going to be kind of comfortable here. Oh, okay, I guess I was wrong. Nelosi with an invasion of the Holy Romans? What? Nelosi invading the Holy Romans. And the Holy Romans do have some defenders. They're not like defenseless. Like they do have military infrastructure right here, I think. Let's see. Oh my God, look at this. The Burgrave Palace in the corner and the Ellsback Palace is being built as well in the corner of the map. I love it. So Nelosi is going to get a little bit of raiding going. Oh man. Okay, guys. Nelosi is coming for the kill and the Holy Roman fleet was away. And the Holy Roman army was also gone. 
So look, they're gonna load up in the Rams and then get in the ship. Wait, wait a second. Can they actually load in and only count as one spot if they're in the Rams? Well, anyways, Nelosi here is attacking. Why am I not playing? I was eliminated in the earlier rounds. Yes, this is the Grand Finals. So Elite Royal Knights gonna be surging into the base of the Holy Romans. They're trying to get a lot of stone and a bit of an emergency here, I think. So Chris only has 400 stone and is gonna be taking some serious casualties as uh, as Nelosi looks to be coming for blood. A lot of rep battering rams being built. And the Holy Romans do have the Middle Island, but they don't have any landmarks here. So if they do lose their base, I don't think they're going to though. Like Elsback is going to be able to kind of fend off this push. Like it's going to take Nelosi a ton of effort to kill this Holy Roman player, like a ton. Granted, I don't think there's really a standing Holy Roman army. If you're the Holy Romans, what you do is you just you just kind of flee to the corner right now. You gather your forces back here and you try and hope that Nelosi will, you know, get caught up somewhere else. A little bit of a naval fight. So we do get the Hulks battling against the uh, the French Hulks, and there's also Galeas out there, which does have its bombard. Demo ships coming in from Nelosi. Absolute steel chair in the back. Holy Romans looking kind of dead right now, guys. Chris could be falling here quite early. Quite early, yes. We will see. So Ellsback Pal Palace, Burgrave Palace are both up. Holy Romans gonna be trying to muster a defense in the back, which I really, really like. They also have some trade going, but it uh, looks like it's probably gonna get shut down. As uh, the French have invaded on the coast, they got battering rams going after landmarks. Uh, here you can see the Aachen Chapel. It's going to be going down as well. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how it's going to go. Yeah, man, he could just be dead. Trade up. Trading under fire here. Not going to last much longer as the Galeas is going to shut that thing down. The Rus are just going bananas here. Like, absolutely bananas. Like, they're trying to kill the Chinese. And the Chinese don't have any landmarks in other islands, so they're going to they're gonna be dead. But the Chinese do have three, uh, three counterweight trebuchets here. Rus build a bunch of archery ranges here. What are they going to be making? Ah, oh, Streltsy, okay. So he's going to be spamming out Streltsy and now building a blacksmith here? Interesting. Okay. Just just powering out some aggressive proxy. Uh, yes. I, I didn't lose. I strategically tapped out so we could enjoy the commentary. See, Harley knows. Harley knows how we live here. No, I definitely got owned. <laughs> but battering rams coming in. We do have a lot of villagers. They're going to be torching down ye old battering rams. Trying their best. Will the Holy Romans endure? Will Sigmar... Allow them to survive. Hand cannoneers and spears coming out. The spears are fully upgraded with the riveted chainmail as well. Yeah, so they have the three armor and melee, which makes them pretty good frontline holding units for their cost. The French are really putting pedal to the metal here. Wow, look at this. And looking here at the Malians, the Malians this game are not having as good of a time as they did last time. As Vicebro emerges from the corner of the map, an unholy tyrant with huge fleets. Huge fleets. Oh my god. And the bow chads are gonna be pounding this poor Malian a coast. Like, just absolute destruction. Okay, the Malians are probably just like toast, right? Like, they're, they're, they are they might not die here, but they're just gonna be Stone Age so hard. They have a, what, what are the Malians doing? He's got a million Muso Fatty. Wait a second. Is he gonna be doing a coastal landing with stealth Muso Fatty and trying to landmark snipe? That would be so funny. Oh my God, I really hope that's what's happening. All right, guys, we gotta keep tabs on this. We gotta keep tabs on this. There's so much fun stuff going on in this match that it's hard to keep tabs, but look at this. He needs more transport ships. Oh my God, I think it's gonna happen. Okay, we'll tab back to that in a minute. Now the green Chinese, wow, what the heck? Green comes from the north of the map, GKS. And he just steamrolls the Rus in the water while the Rus are busy trying to kill the other Chinese. Look at this. Oh my God, there's gotta be some politics going on right now. The other Chinese have rode to the aid of their countrymen. And the Rus are going to be just absolutely punished. That is really unfortunate. Wow, Green just came down and absolutely dominated the Rus in the water. Obviously, he was having to fight Purple too, so he had very little chances of fighting off two Chinese players. But yeah, all right. So the Muso Fatty Warriors, oh my god, this thing has an S to Bs. See, they were, they were trying to get on, on the boats and do a little bit of a naval landing, but Orange is not going to have that shit. Vice Pro is just like totally cackling here. Sailing about with that big Chinese fleet. Yeah, the Malians are still alive. I mean, they can chill on their island. They have a keep up here. Well, they had a keep until the Baochans got there, and then, then it's gone. <laughs> the keep got absolutely destroyed. Nelosi is still do hosting pretty hard, but the Holy Romans, look at this. I love it. Chris is a survivor. He's got his uh, his army here. He could, uh, he's going to probably be able to push Nelosi off his island and re-secure the Holy Roman Empire. Oh my god, look at this, dude. Yeah, so Bao Chads push the Rus back to their island. The Rus are still fine though. Should be able to recover. But their their aggression against the Chinese is gonna come to an end. 
Um, because they just got flattened here. I'm really surprised that green... That feels like a misplay. It feels like a misplay. Like, I feel like green should have helped kill China. Maybe to get rid of their nearest threat. Because the Rus were kind of far away. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's some politics going on. I don't know what's going on. All sorts of crazy stuff. The Holy Romans fighting back against the French invaders with their hand cannoneers. And here you can see the uh, villagers going to be storming out to get their uh, torches. And they should be able to deal with the battering rams. And the Holy Romans of Sigmar are able to fight off the French invaders. And will most likely be able to re-secure their island. I don't know if Nelosi is going to prepare another invasion. Looks like it. Yeah, it looks like there's a secondary invasion wave here. So we do have the Men at Arms and the Royal Knights. And the Holy Romans definitely got sent back to the Stone Age a little bit. But it looks like they will be able to kind of surge out and re-secure their islands, repair their landmarks, do all that sort of good stuff. So Nelosi is gathering still gold. Interesting. Yeah, gathering stone here, mainly just using gold. I, I, I wonder when uh, Nelosi will switch and start getting the other goodies. So the Malians are just... This is like what was happening to me last game when my coast was just being absolutely pounded. At least this, these islands are bigger, so your center mass is, like, safe. And the Muso Fatty warriors are basically just trapped in the islands. I really want to see him do something with these Muso Fatty. Uh, they need upgrades, though. He doesn't have any blacksmith upgrades. He's, he's literally got... Uh, man, plus 15 versus heavy. That's insane how much damage they do. 30 damage? Jeez. That's pretty bonkers. All right, so um, taking a look at the Bruce. Yeah, they got, they got punished pretty badly, but so too did the Purple Chinese. Purple Chinese got sent back pretty hard. You can see their score is very, very low. Green uh, is going to do a little bit of damage, collateral damage to the uh, the purple fishing fleet as he sails by. In the middle, Holy Roman's just kind of chilling. On the far east side of the map, Vice Bro obviously has a pretty strong navy. It's just been camping the Malians for quite some time. Malian's going to be trying to get a little bit of uh, aquatics action going. As we do see some invaders. Oh, look at this. This is hilarious. The Grout Bara. Yes, the market is going to be rebuilt. And China is coming to steal your wood. Oh my god, no, they're building barracks. You, without boats protecting this, the Muso Fatty are going to just massacre these units. Yeah, because the, the Orange Navy is not in position to protect this. <laughs> just a hundred angry warriors descend on them. Look at that. Oh my god, they almost get the ships down. Yeah, that, that, was, that was kind of a doomed plan from the start. The Malians were not going to have that. Looks like they're going to get their landmark back up. It does take a lot of wood, but it will get there. It will get there. So looking at the bank of all the players, we can take a look. You guys can see the resources. The problem for the Malians is they have no wood. Um, currently, they're sitting at 10 wood, which is brutal, which means they're probably not going to be able to get you know the transport ships that they're looking for or rebuild their houses even. This, this coastal blockade is really, really nasty. What you do if you're the Malians here is you just try and sit in your base and hope, hope like the other strong factions will fight and that you can eventually regain your foothold. Because at this point, it's just like, you're you're just like the, oh, no, 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 don't charge there, don't charge. These ships have nest of bees. Oh, my God, that would have been like a one shot. Yeah, if you're the Malians, you just, you have to, you have to be like smashing pumpkins. You have to, you know, despite all your rage, you got to be the rat in the cage. That's, that's what you got to do. Great song, by the way. You guys like smashing pumpkins. I think it's pretty cool. All right, so demolition ships going to be finishing off the docks here. And the Holy Romans going to be making their Sigmarite defense. Nelosi with another invasion force here, guys. Another invasion. We have the Men at Arms coming in, as well as the Elite Royal Knights. Uh, honestly, I think HRE defends this with Elsback back, back here, plus, you know, Burgrave to kind of produce some stuff. And the main base is kind of being rebuilt a little bit. We do see the town center back up. And the Holy Romans are going to beat Nelosi's forces on the shore, and uh, they should be able to force them back. So Nelosi is going to lose this invasion force for li very little gain. So maybe Nelosi is going to start going for stone. We see gold being saved up, actually. Yeah. No, I, I like what he's doing with the Muso Fatty. He's got 150 Muso Fatty warriors. Because he's getting food from his cattle, so he doesn't really need, like, villagers as much. Um, but what I love is, like, if he can get some transport ships and land in somebody's base, they're dead. 150 Muso Fatty warriors will snipe landmarks so quick. Like, all it takes is someone not paying attention. Another turns in. I thought that was pretty good, right? That was a good one. I've always, like, referred to Smashing Pumpkins as, like, the acquired food taste of music. Like, it takes a little getting used to, like, Billy Corgan's voice, but once you do, it's just, like, it's great, man. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Anyways. Up in the northwest, looks like the Rus are going to be building the Great Walls of the Rus Empire. So, setting up, but the Chinese are going to be patrolling their shores. It looks like Purple. Purple's looking for revenge from earlier, just, like, seeing what's up here as these walls are attempting to be built. Maybe the Rus go for a wonder. I mean, they could totally build a wonder back here in the forest. 
Looks like Chris's landmark is going to be getting torched again. Holy Roman's trying to set up some infrastructure. Army's going to be moving out. Meanwhile, they do have the trade embargo. Yeah, Musa Fadi pressed the Griot Barra Siege Festival, and that's GG. 100%, dude. But, like, the Chinese are going to be very careful to not let them off their island. Like, very careful, I would wager. But the festival landmark, uh, it does give you 100% torch damage. So, like, you just insta shot, you instant one shot buildings. It's like, with that many, it's, it's going to be very, very brutal. How many relics do the Holy Romans have, I wonder? They have a relic here. Definitely need to get that back. I don't know why they built Burger Burger Palace instead of Regnitz. But here we go. Looks like some of the elite royal knights going to be picked off, and the Holy Romans will endure. Oh, man, and China coming in. We get Vicebro moving in from the east and battling Nelosi's navy. Nelosi is going to for sure stop attacking the Holy Romans now, realizing that there is a big fish to fry, and that is China. Oh, my God. These things have nested bees. That's so damn brutal. These are transport ships, too, so they're not going to do a whole lot. So Nelosi looks to have been forced out of the water, straight up. Just gone. Yeah, Nelosi is not going to be able to continue these sieges. And yeah, that's really good for uh, our boy Chris here. Now, look at this. Oh, beautiful. GKS up here on the top, guys. Awesome Chinese economy. Full Chinese Navy. Full fishing fleet. Trade going. You know what? GKS might be one of our favorites right now in terms of just power. Like, Green is looking tyrannical. He's got keeps around the trade site. He's going to be grabbing sacreds. He's grabbing relics. Really, really clean play by our uh, northern Chinese player. Like, everything is just optimal and smooth for him. Like, everything. I love how this fast guy is just chilling here. Looks like some trade coming in for our purple Chinese as well. Bao Chad navies are very strong. We're seeing China dominate the navy in every regard, right? Chinese, Chinese, and uh, more Chinese over here. But the thing about the Chinese, one of the reasons why they're also dominating is because the I believe the three players who are playing on China are conqueror, like high conqueror players too. So you have to you have to factor that in. Uh Nelosi goes for a wonder, I think. Yeah. See, Nelosi just switched to um just switched to stone, which means it's wonder time. 100%. So GKS is definitely looking very scary. Now, are we going to be seeing any Muso Fatty action? We'll kind of uh to, you know, check back there every now and then. I would love to see a little bit of a raid going on. The Rus are trying to build their walls, but again, the embargo from the Chinese is going to be making that hard as they do have them uh, you know, kind of dead to rights on the coast here. We'll have to see. But the Rus economy must still be pretty good, all things considered. Yeah, still getting 2,000 plus gold a minute from all these hunting cabins and this gold node right here. So certainly sitting pretty. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this could be bad. All right, the Rus villager is going to flee the scene. Very good awareness. Able to get behind the walls and escape. And uh, yeah, China, it's going to be probably a massive Chinese civil war. Probably a massive Chinese civil war. I have a feeling there might have been something in the game where they were like, hey, we need to kill the Chinese players. Oh, enemy attacking a landmark. Oh, okay, it's just the uh, it's just the coastal one, which isn't that huge of a deal. We will have to see. But Nelosi's definitely going for the wonder now. It's going to be uh, wonder time. Nelosi's sitting on a fair amount of resources. It's going to be a while before Nelosi can get to a wonder, but I think that's what's going to happen for the French here, I would wager. But the Chinese are eventually going to have to start fighting each other. There can only be one. There can only be one winner on today's stream. There can only be one winner. Looks like the astronomical clock tower is going to be built on the island to prevent sniping and all that sort of good stuff. And uh, what do we see here from the Malians? Yeah, just kind of chilling with their, their Muso Fatty. Uh, probably going to want to rebuild this pit. And it looks like up top we are going to be getting some uh, some ships perhaps coming out. As down in the south, Nelosi is being heavily sieged by the Bow Chads. Bow Chads are just super tyrannical. Nelosi fighting back reasonably well, able to kind of push back a couple of those chads, but then the hammer of China is coming. The wrath. Oh my god. Chinese navy is so disgusting. Look at these things. Like, dude, dude look at this! Oh my god! You just can't survive that. Oh my god. The damage on those ships is insane. It is insane. Enemy destroyed Renyan's landmark. Okay, Renyan is blue. Okay, so that was, that was some coastal action. Looks like it was a little bit of funny business going there. Okay. And I think I may suspect what's going to go on here. I'm not going to say anything, but we'll we'll jump back to that when the time does come. And the low sea just needs to survive, basically. It's going to be a hard survival. Oh, my God. Wait. Oh, demo ships popped out. The low sea popped out with, like, five demo ships and killed the whole navy. Wow. He took out all the chads. All the chads got hammered, guys. They're gone. Orange's fleet is gone. He's got more up here, but that whole Western fleet just got punished. Wow. Good stuff. GKS, though, I think is looking to be pretty... Nobody's messing with GKS. Like, nobody. He's going to start fighting his Chinese neighbor now. I think that um, I think that purple and uh, green are kind of destined to fight. 
kind of destined to fight. It's going to happen at some point. So barbecue the sun here. It looks like Nelosi is kind of safe in the base, gathering up stone for later. Obviously needs to be done. How are the roosts looking resource-wise? Setting up a lot of farms, obviously a good idea. Anatan has a good resource bank. Oh, almost enough for a wonder, actually. Yeah, just missing gold. So we could see a roost wonder attempt, but I, I like attempting a wonder with six high-level opponents is going to be very basically guaranteed death. Although this corner, like this area for a wonder is pretty gross as well. So there's there's some tactics here. All right, guys. China's invading. Vice Bro is invading. He is landing. He's got barracks. He's got bow chads covering. And the French are going to have to defend on the shores. And he must be aware of this. Yeah, Nelosi sees this because of the walls. So the French need to get some arbalists out because that's going to be palace guard spam all day. So arbalists, French knights, any number of those units. And it is going to be mass... Uh, demolition ships coming around to try and run over the Bowchad fleet. We'll keep tabs on that. We will keep tabs on that. In the meantime, the Holy Romans and Sigmar in the corner have gotten their bearings back. He's got a big army and has re-secured his nation, so he is uh, sitting in uh, decent shape. Bowchad's here, still doing a little bit of work. And the Holy Romans going to have to defend against the Chinese incursion, which is not going to be easy, man. Not going to be easy. They're, the Chinese have been unhindered. They have crazy trade going. Look at this. Oh my god, the Chinese trade. And China's denying everyone else trade here, too. Orange looking pretty tyrannical, but GKS still for sure the strongest. Okay. Purple Navy coming in to do some battle. Demo ships get obliterated on the entry. And we got chat on chat action. So one demo ship going to be connecting. Instantly takes out one of those bow chads. Nelosi. Oh, man. Those nest of bees are so foul. Okay. So they do take out that bow chad. Roost still holding on in the corner. We could see a wild Roost uh, landmark. And what's going on here? Are we going to see... Oh, my God. I think it's happening, guys. I think it's happening. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything, but we'll, we'll keep tabs on that. So here, guys, the elite royal knights and the French men at arms. For the lady, trying to hold back the Chinese incursion force. Really, really good play by Vice Pro. I'm very impressed. Able to kind of just rapidly produce, get these fat, erect militaries out, and uh, just keep pushing. Yeah. It, it's a really essential if you want to try and finish someone off. Probably also upgrading these to cannon towers is going to be pretty clutch. All right, guys. Something really, really exciting is about to happen. I'm not going to comment on it yet because I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, in case one of them's listening to the stream. You never know. There is prize money on the line. So I'm going to try and, uh, you know, hide those type of things. All right, guys. So we do see the bow chads of the purple Chinese moving in on the Roost borders. Roost is chilling, though. The chads won't be able to get inland. And ladies and gentlemen, it is Gotham's reckoning. Let the games begin. Oh my god. No, wait, what is this lag? No, if someone disconnects right now, I'm going to be so upset. Okay. The Muso Fatty invasion has begun! They have landed! Oh my god, Orange is sweating bullets right now. 150 population worth of just pissed off ladies running around your island. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's happening! They're going to get torched! Everything's going to get torched, except the keeps here. The keeps will probably be fine. But, like, everything else on this island is going to get torched into the Shadow Realm. Oh, my God. Look how quickly they torch with the Festival active. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's steamrolling the base. He's steamrolling the base. The Muso Fatty raid. Everything he loves is going to be just absolutely obliterated here. Oh, dear God. I knew this was going to happen eventually. It was only a matter of time. And he's just going to hunt down all these landmarks. And suddenly, Orange is going to be like, oh my god. And now Nelosi's pushing on this side. Yeah, look at this. Oh, god. Every landmark's just getting torched. The keeps are, the keeps are not even protecting any landmarks. It's um, the, bow, the uh, barbecue under the sun is the only thing that's going to keep Orange alive. If somebody kills the barbecue under the sun, oh my god. If somebody kills this, it's over. It, Orange is dead. Orange is dead. Dear god. The Muso Fatty invasion. I'm stealing this strategy, guys. I love the hell out of this. This is so cool. Look at that. All right. So they're getting in, obliterating the base. Uh, burning oil is being researched. There's no burning oil right now, though. They can totally kill these keeps in like two seconds. There's no burning oil. Oh, my God. And does he know that the orange landmark is here? Orange is sailing back up to punish this. Okay. No burning oil. Oh, my God. The keeps are going to die so quick. Look how quickly they die. I don't even know if he's using the festival, is he? Yeah, he, he, he just had used the torch festival. Okay, so that's going to stop the burning oil. And uh, yeah, China is straight up going to be just a couple boats. That's basically going to be it. Like everything on this island is dead.
It is it is a barren wasteland. And if some, if the Holy Romans get a whim to destroy this landmark, then they're dead. Oh my god, the Muso Fatty invasion. I love it. Aren't the Muso Fatty Fado warriors? I think they're women, right? Yeah. Just the angry, angry ladies. Coming coming for blood. Taking down the tyrants in the corner. Holy Roman's still alive. Nelosi, very much alive. Nelosi probably has no idea what's going on here. The dreaded Muso Fatty raid. Guys, literally China is just going to have a bunch of boats and some trade ships. And that's it. They're, like, they're trying to escape with some... Oh, they're sneaking some villagers back. Okay, I feel like that's not going to go super well. Trying to muster some archers and guns, but it's too little too late. So let's take a look at Vice Pro. Vice Pro's score is tanking very rapidly. Currently the eco is 54, so there are a fair amount of Chinese. Yeah, look. Look, the revenge has come. China's the petty vengeance. Oh, you better get these villagers away. Don't want to be losing 25 vils here. That would suck. The Muso Fatty steamrolling the base. Gotta kill everything. And uh, there goes the village. Down you go. Now negative supply. So it looks like there's a couple Chinese villagers rebuilding here. The Muso Fatty aren't going to have this, though. They, they should roam down and check. Which I would imagine they will. But that basically sets Vicebro back to the Stone Age. Oh my god, he's going to be building the Great Wall Gatehouse. LOL, that's hilarious. Okay, so the Muso Fatty are going to see this getting rebuilt. They got their torches out, and uh, he's going to be trying to build the Great Wall Gatehouse here, I think, to survive. Oh my god, that's so funny. Okay, so they're hunting down the villagers. The eco rapidly dropping, and that landmark instantly killed once again. <laughs> These ladies are pissed, dude. They're not taking any of this shit. Oh, dear god. Look at this monstrosity of a fleet. Oh my god, 17 bow chads. That is brutal. Okay, we get a Wolo low attempt. They have to they have to stay away from the shores. The Muso Fatty just have to keep raiding in the inland here. Yeah, and just like like dude, his base is gone. The Barbican is the only thing keeping him alive right now. The only thing. If somebody kills the Oh no. Orange could be dead. If purple sails like past this, then orange is dead. Yeah, because he's got no landmarks. He's trying to build the Great Wall Gatehouse, but he only has a couple villagers. Oh my god. This could be an incidental kill here, guys. If the Purple Armada sails past this Barbican and just rips a couple shots into it, it's uh, it's he's dead. Oh my god, he's holding on. Just barely. Here's, here's a shot. Oh my god! He's so close to dying! Okay, Purple's moving up with a couple ships. Ooh! He's going for it. I think he's, I think he knows. Oh my god, he's shooting it! Or he's dead! Orange is dead! The Muso Fatty invasion! Oh my god, it has done it! The Chadettes! These ladies have carried blue into the sunset. Battle cruiser operational. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well the Muso Fatty have done it. Who's gonna be their next victim? I think everybody else have learned a lesson and are gonna be walling off, but this is um this is going to be unholy. I think Roos might have a chance at a wonder victory too, guys. Like, Roos totally have an option for a wonder. Yeah, they're building ground-based, like, armies so they can defend their shores. Yeah, yeah. You guys ready for the battle cruisers? <laughs> I, think that, I think that blue wins the people's champion boat, Renyon. Like, this build is so damn hilarious. I mean, it's not going to be able to do much against this, but if he can land on purple shores, like, he could do the exact same thing to him. Purple could straight up die. Like, if the Muso Fatty Legion lands in anyone's base and they don't have, like, a lot of static defenses, they're going to die. Well played, Vice Pro. Man, that was, a, that was a way to go, huh? Yeah, you were super busy invading Nelosi, and then suddenly this Muso Fatty Legion lands on your shores. Okay. So, Baochad's going to be circling, punishing the uh, Malians, obviously. Why is he not attacking him? Like, this just feels weird. Like, why is he not, why is he just letting green cackle, you know? I don't, I don't know what's going down there. That seems like a very strange choice. Because, like, green is just going to beat him. Like, I, I know, like, you might have a temporary alliance, but you have to strike while the iron's hot, man. You, you got to shut down green's trade. Look at the resources of GKS, guys. He is, he is just rich as hell. Okay, it looks like he's finally going to go pick battle with China, which is certainly smart. And, uh, yeah, Muso Fatty, you're going to need some transport ships, that's for sure. So, looks like he's going to build a bunch of those and see what we can do. All right. Yeah, so I, I I thought they might have an alliance, but I don't think so. I think he was literally just doing a victory lap. All right, so moving in. It's going to be uh, shutting down a ton of trade. 
And that is a terrifying ass Navy. You can see in response, GKS is going to be trying to build some bow chads of his own, but he is basically getting a shoreline absolutely punished. As they are bombarding here, Nelosi getting what little gold is left, currently looking at 5,000 stone. So a French wonder, very, very much on the table. Very, very much on the table at some point. Same with Roos. Roos probably are sitting on enough for a wonder as well. Yeah, the Roos have enough for a wonder, 100%. So they're just kind of biding their time. And, you know, there's going to be some heavy entrenchments. So the Bow Chads shutting down Green's entire trade economy. So Green has been karate chopped at the trade, which is a very, very strong play. So it's going to be a Chinese civil war here. It's going to be a Chinese civil war. Yeah, most of the ships... Docks are going to be rebuilt pretty quickly. Yeah, he's got his own Bow Chads coming out. We're going to have a huge Bow Chad Civil War. This is what I'm most excited for, though. I don't really care. Um, I don't care about anything else in this game. I just want to watch this. I want to see where these guys go. I want to see what they get done. I want to see if they can kill someone's base. <clears throat> GKS is super prepared for war, too. He's got, like, base base infrastructure. So if somebody invades him, he can muster a defense army really quickly. That's, uh, that's going to be really, really fun. So green coming for revenge. Hey, this is one way to get rid of these navies. Okay, so one of green's kind of miniature fleets is going to be intercepted and run down by the chads. So the chads of uh, Slammer are going to be intercepting GKS's mini navy here, which is going to be taking pressure off the Roos. And Roos are for sure just preparing for a wonder in the corner. Like, they, they're massing artillery and streltsy and building keeps in their base. Uh, I, I don't hate that play, honestly, because China is so heavily invested in these kind of like big naval play that I think they might not be able to muster a ground for super quickly. We'll see. Is going for a wonder at this stage still a death sentence? I think so. But if two people build a wonder, if one madman builds a wonder and then another person builds a wonder behind them, I think the second person might have a decent chance of winning. Like, that would be for sure um, on the cards. Because Nelosi is very much alive again. Like, looking at the resources, um, who has enough for a wonder? Nelosi will, when um, he turns in there. Um, Slammer does not have enough stone. Anatan has enough for Wonder with a little bit more gold, which is easy. And uh, yeah, honestly, so it's basically just Anatan and Nelosi. There's only two players who are really Wonder capable at this point. China's obviously spending most of its resources on these like giant <clears throat> doomsday warships, right? Like these colossal, colossal beasts of war. Oh my god, the Muso Fatty, no! Flee! Oh no! They got caught! Oh no! They tried to do a landing on Green, I think, and then Green chased them back to the shores and killed them. It's okay, they're expendable. You're just gonna build a, a lot more of them. Yeah, so a lot of Muso Fatty Warriors coming out. That was about as brutal as it gets. Oh, the Malian ships. Yeah, it's okay, they'll, they'll be able to get their gears going again. I mean, yeah. They got their gold pits going. That was, that was pretty brutal, though. So Green mustered a huge navy. And it looks like uh, purple and purple and green are just kind of bouncing around playing whack-a-mole. But they really got to put some respect on the Wonders. Nelosi with a million demo ships here is very, very strong. Not super entrenched at the moment, building some lumber camps. And uh, the army's okay. Got some bombards and some knights and some men-at-arms, all of which are elite. So certainly pretty strong. And heading down to the south, we see the trade ships. Trade ships are creeping this way. And uh, yeah, big navies, man. It's only a matter of time before the two big colossal navies crash and have a... Godzilla King Kong battle here. It's got to happen. Yeah, Green. Green's the one who got away, man. He he could have wiped out Green if he had kept the pressure on, but he, he kind of like got nervous and sailed away. I think. Maybe he's just trying to protect his trade. I don't think anyone's really gonna get sacreds either. The Holy Romans have been allowed to have the sacred for like ten years. Look, they even got a prelate put a relic in this outpost, which I love, taking some of the gold off the island. How are the Holy Romans doing, man? Chris has just been chilling back here for a while. I mean, but he's got to be doing okay eco-wise, right? Ah, he's only got 300 gold. He's kind of poor. But, yeah, you know, he's still in it. He's still in the game, which is good. So Green with the Doomsday Fleet. Got to be shutting down the Holy Roman trade ships. And uh, the fishing boats of Nelosi also in a little bit of danger. As the other Bow Chad Navy has a coastal embargo. Oh, my God. Who built a wonder? Wait a second. Oh, my God. Nelosi with the wonder attempt. Oh my god, Nelosi did a wonder. The Roos need to build a wonder right now, in my opinion. Then the Roos could win. Oh dear god. Nelosi's going for the kill. And Nelosi has how much stone? Let's see. 2,000 stone left to build keeps. Okay. So yeah, now we know. Now we know what's going to be going down. Notre Dame, pretty vulnerable. Any sort of a landing here with some trebs could probably take it out very quickly. 
And it looks like Green's just going to be absolutely annihilating the coast of Nelosi, trying to shut Nelosi back in the base. The demo ship Legion uh, looks like it tried its best and didn't quite make it into that Bowchad fleet. And yeah, guys, there's a wonder on the table. Here we do see... Oh, I love this little colony from Renyon. Look, he's got his little Malian colony. Wait, wait, wait a second. What's going on here? What's going on here? Are we going to see another Haggard landing? Maybe. I really hope the Muso Fatty go, like, kill the, um... Kill one of the Chinese players. That'd be so funny. Look how quickly these walls get knocked down by the Bow Chads. Trying to set up some towers here. But Red Keep is going to be really nice for defending. Um, Nelosi does have a decent standing army. Not the most production infrastructure, so... I think this is a Hail Mary by Nelosi, and I don't think it's going to work. Like, Nelosi doesn't have the, the economy to back this. Like, only, you know, 71 eco, I guess, isn't terrible, but, um... It just seems like it's going to be too hard to defend, man. We'll see. We'll see. So here comes a little bit more fun over there. Are the Roos building a wonder? It looks like they're... Oh my god, what the hell is going on with this Roos base? This Roos base looks like a hellscape to attack. An absolute hellscape. But if I was the Roos player now, I would build a wonder right now. I would just be like, come at me. You guys have to kill Nelosi first, so it buys you time. Using red as bait. Yeah, a little bit. The Nelosi going to be getting towers set up and building cannon emplacements, I would guess, on these different towers. Still has a decent standing army. Going to be pulling the army back and across. And green is just a tyrant, though. Green is, is so much stronger than everybody else. The amount of resources green is getting from this trade is just gross. It's just foul. All right, we got some fun business up there. We'll keep tabs on that. Don't you worry, guys. I'm very aware that that's going down. And now these guys are going to be circling about. Trying to find another way into Nelosi's base, but it's kind of interesting. Like, are the Holy Romans going to help? It looks like they're building transport ships. Okay, so the Holy Romans are going to be invading Nelosi as well. And have the Rus built there? Yeah, here it comes. It's going to go right here. It looks like, maybe. He just deleted a bunch of stuff or he's trying to get archery ranges. Where is that Rus wonder? Like, I feel like it should have came way, way back. Because he's giving a lot of time here to the other players. Like, he could be, he could be in a really strong position to win. Because if I'm the Rus, I wouldn't help. I, you can't help. The Chinese are embargoing you. Like, the Chinese are blocking the Rus in, so they're not even able to help with the wonder. All right, so Rus looking pretty comfortable. Are we going to see a wonder back here anytime soon? I don't know why we haven't. And Green is here now, too. But does Green have a landing force? Because you can have the big, scary navies all you want. Oh, my God. Guys, it's happening. Look at this shit. Oh my god, the Muso Fatty have gotten into GKS's base. Here they go. The ladies have landed. And they're going to start taking villagers out. They're going to start killing landmarks. But the Great Wall Gatehouse will be able to stop them single-handedly. Yeah, and immediately we get Elite Lancers. But Lancers actually take a ton of damage from Muso Fatty because they have a bonus for his heavy. So they kill them very quickly. But yeah, this is going to this is gonna drain a lot of resources from green probably. Yeah. So the Musa Fatty are torching landmarks and uh, also just grinding down the Chinese troops that are being built here. Dude, if Nelosi wins this game, I would be so shocked. Like the Chinese players, uh, I don't know why they're not going all in on red. Like we're not seeing any landing forces. Like there's just a fat wonder here, which is probably like making some serious progress. Nelosi is probably really confused right now. It looks like there's some blood feuds. The the Malians are ti were tired of being bullied by Chinese all game. So they're just like getting in there and they're going to go cause some problems. Yeah, running away from the uh, the Great Wall Gatehouse. There's more Muso Fatty trying to get in, but they're just going to get wrecked. The Great Wall Gatehouse is, is super strong. So they're not going to make their way in. These ones are going to run back and torch all the farms. Blue is the Troll King. I love it. I love it. It's hilarious. Okay, so he's going to turn. And yeah, Muso Fatty actually annihilate Cav pretty well. They get plus 15 damage versus them. So kind of like a Spearman anti men at arm anti cav unit, which is really, really nice. See, pretty good trading there. Now, in the back, the uh, granaries are being taken out, so the taxes will be gone. Uh, guys, I mean, with all this, like, infighting, Nelosi might straight up win this. Although, the Holy Romans are going to, are they going to do it? It's the greedy Chad fleets. China always does this. Yeah, China refuses to delete their fleets to build an actual ground force. It's kind of true. Look, he's taking it out on green right now, guys. Yeah, so the Muso Fatty are stopped by the Palace Guard and the Lancers. Yeah, it was going to happen. He has full production here. Um, but still, a nice little raid. He's going to be able to kind of get his troops back together. Green taking out his rage on him right now. So he's he's letting letting the rage flow through him as he continues to raid these territories. But guys, Nelosi might straight up win this. They might might win it. I'm not sure. Um, the Malians, I wonder if they're going to do anything. Like, the Malians have just been trapped and oppressed all game by the Chinese. So I think they're just kind of like... 
Yeah. Well, are they like baiting with the transport ships? Or are they just hiding them? I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, hard to say. Malians, though, probably really, really, really resource poor. Yeah, yeah. Eh, they don't have any wood, so they can't really do much there. Now, the Holy Roman invasion has begun. The Karax are here. The Duhost is coming, for sure. Duhost wants revenge from earlier. And Duhost might be able to get some progress. Like, Nelosi's army is really weak. Like, really, really weak. Like, if the Duhost can get, like, a good landing position and get some, like, naval support, especially from the Chinese here. Like, you need to actually build units, dude. You can't just use ships to kill these wonders. Uh, a little bit of a blunder here, leaving these transport ships there. As the Malians get punished once again, <laughs> we just see the poor Malians getting hammered. What is this down here? Slammer. Slammer has, like, a little colony down here. Okay. And the Malians also have a colony, so they're, they're both trying to scrap here. Malian bombard cannons pushing the Chinese off. Gonna kill one of their landmarks, actually, so this is pretty strong. I mean, like, China needs to send some transport ships, dude. What are you guys doing? Don't you want to win? All right, so the Karaks are here. Nelosi able to use the coastal cannons to actually shoot them back. And here comes the Duhast. Here they come, guys. The Duhast is ready. They have to find a landing spot. Right here would be the best spot. That's like a really, really good prime time location. China just not doing much to help. Just, just kind of cackling and being greedy. The Rus in the meantime, have they built a wonder? No. What are the Rus doing? Have they built a wonder? Did I miss a Rus wonder? What are the Rus doing? If Nelosi wins this game, I'm going to be so shocked. I will be just so shocked. There is like... If the players were playing correctly and like intelligently, there would there would be no way Nelosi would have a chance here. Nelosi's army is tiny. Like, the Duhast might be able to single-handedly do this. And that's saying something. So the Holy Romans are moving in, but they're not going to have production infrastructure. But Nelosi's army is going to get hammered pretty hard on the way in. Yeah, so Holy Romans... Should win this fight, although the cannons on the shore are doing some good work. We do see the Trebs bombarding in. Um, definitely you want to get your cannons to start sniping the bombards, or sniping the uh, Trebs here, as the Holy Romans are going to need to get more siege equipment, although they could build battering rams. We know that our boy um, Chris knows how to build battering rams. Yeah, so here comes the Holy Romans. Melosi's defenses are, are sparse, but I mean, there are cannon towers. But look at this. Yeah, see, the Trebs can just reach that from here. So the Trebuchets are bombarding the Wonder. The Wonder is getting beaten up by the Duhast. It's, it's, it's the only thing that's a bit of a shame is like the Chinese are going to be rewarded for their greed. That's the one thing I don't like about this because they're not helping at all. Like they're just being greedy and the Holy Romans, they killed the wonder. Oh my God. The wonder's down. Oh my God. Now we need a Rus wonder guys. So the Rus are going to go for a wonder now. hundred percent. All right. So the Duhast has spoken. And they were able to take it out. Anatan is building a wonder, which if he had done this way long ago, man, I think he would have just won the game. Honestly, the Rus might win this. If the Chinese are greedy again and refuse to like land, the Rus is, actually has a scary standing army. Like the Rus could push off the Duhas super easy. They really could. So crazy trade ships going from China. Dude, just bringing back like a million gold for all these guys. It's just nuts. The Malians are just trolling in the corner, which I love. I love the Malian trolls. They're, they're they're my favorite here. They're just they're just doing their thing. I'm actually sad for the exact same reason. Rus are you're rooting for the Rus now, dude. The Rus have the Rus have a really good chance of winning. 84 Streltsy, 14 Mangonels. Anyone who tries to land is going to get pounded. You see siege workshops coming up. Definitely want to get some keeps or towers back here. Although I guess it's pretty far. Um, yeah, and now it's time for the Rus man. Will China do anything? Or are they just going to be the greed masters once again? To be fair, China's uh, food eco here did get pounded pretty badly, looking at the current resources. But GKS is sitting on so much. Look, 45, 38, 22. Like, do something with those resources. Go attack. I guess he's afraid of the Malians? The Malians are basically dead. Like, the Malians are just, like, have such a small eco and such a small army. We'll have to see. All right. Oh, my God. What is the Ramstein doing? He's got such a hard-on for killing Nelosi now. No, you leave Nelosi at this point, and you have to go start working on the Rus, guys. Maybe they didn't notice it? Okay, will China be greedy? Like, what is Green even doing? What is he gonna do? Is he... I mean, the Muso Fatty cannot get through your walls. If you're amply walled, they're not gonna get in. So you don't need to worry about that. Like, that's not really a threat to you anymore. We got the siege workshops. Okay. See, this is good. Green at least has a landing force with villagers, I hope. Fire Lancers, Villagers. Ah, eh, no Villagers. Okay, but still, it's it's enough to do a little bit of a dent in the walls. Oh, Roos is really good in FFA. Look at this. The Duhast is trying to finish off Nelosi. What's going on here? This is insanity. 
Okay, maybe maybe he's gonna be a little bit greedy. Yeah, it's a blood feud it looks like, but maybe he's gonna let let the Chinese do the heavy lifting this time, which I actually don't hate that. You know, it, it it here's here's the thing. If this works out, if 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 Chris can kill Nelosi and the two Chinese kill the Ruse, enemy destroyed Slammer's landmark. So, oh yeah, it's over here. The the dreaded island Malians. They're able to get some good work in and, uh, and cut these guys down. There they go. Bombard cannons coming across, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, China does have its warships. Yeah, they're like losing warships to these keeps and stuff. Yeah, looks like one down. And look at this. Man, this Roost player is really solid. I, I really like his playstyle. Like his aggressive invasion of China early would have worked probably if the other Chinese player didn't help. And uh, now like th he's got the natural forest here too, so it's going to be really hard to get through there, which is hilarious. And the walls are going to get bombarded now, so China's going to be taking those down. Over on the back side, we see the Cathedral of the Tsar. And are the horsemen elite? They are elite. Okay. So no landing forces yet. We do see our first landing force here, but this is not going to be... Yeah, dude, this is... Look how miserable this shit is to get through. Oh my god. So let's keep that wonder tracker up. So you guys can keep tabs. 12 minutes left to hold. Like, this Chinese invasion force is going to get folded like a piece of paper. Granted, the Bowchads are a little bit scary, but if Purple doesn't actually bring some siege equipment and an actual army, none of that's going to matter. <laughs> no, Losi paid the Chinese. All right. So, the Duhas still moving in. I mean, Losi should be dead in the water. Like, if the if the, if the the Holy Romans want to truly move through and wipe the French out, they should be able to. Not historically accurate, but, you know, it is what it is. So, moving down to the south, more trade ships. Obviously, the Chinese drowning in money. But will greed be their downfall? Perhaps so. Okay, he brought a bunch of bombard cannons, but with the mangonels getting in position, mangonels are so good in these like weird fights like this. We see horsemen, we see spearmen, and now Streltsy are in there. You see the, the the muzzle flashes? That's so much damage coming out. Like Streltsy are just just absolute thundering, thundering DPS. As the Chads are trying to clear away. Okay, this is actually a little bit of a vulnerability here. If the Chads break through the walls, the Roost might need to fall back to that second layer there. So, the Chinese invasion here gets absolutely crushed. Absolutely crushed! Bombard cannons go down there. Other bombards gonna go down. And now, the Roost need to move over and go after the, um... And, like, re-secure this breach. I think, like, some walls in the back would be really good, too. Like, just delete this, this, and this, and make, like, one wall here to try and seal that out. So, the Holy Romans are stealing relics! Classic. And, uh, looks like they're moving in. Nelosi's armies are being folded. The Red Palace might be able to save. But I, there's also trebuchets back here, so I would imagine the trebs are going to get the job done and uh, it will do that. So the Roost army just absolutely steamrolls the Chinese landing force. Because this invasion is not going to be successful unless you have supply lines. So what you need to do as the Chinese is cut half of your battle chads and bring villagers, build military infrastructure in front of your chads, and then start producing units. That's like the only way this is going to work. And it looks like Anatand realizes that and is going to be doing what we suggested, which is building walls back here. Because otherwise, like if a land came here, like, you could totally sneak some artillery in there, right? Okay, so we see a sneaky, sneaky trebuchet core. Are the Roos paying attention? Oh, no! Are they going to be able to get the distance? Those horsemen, they need to go! No, 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 go, go, go! Not like this! Okay, so we see the mangonels bombarding here. The horsemen going to be charging. They do see it. Oh, my God, the Cathedral of the Tsar could die here. He has nothing to repair it back there. Okay, he's going for it. The bombards aren't going to be able to do much. Oh my god, it's taking trebuchet damage. The horseman diving in. Oh my god, he just... He, if he had reacted like 30, like 20 seconds slower, that would have been it. Alright, guys. So, the mangonels are still online. The horsemen are still online. Do not attack into this fleet. You're going to lose most of your army. Might be able to kill it. I think you just pull back, dude. Just screw those bow chads. Just let them do their thing. Mangos behind the walls is kind of cool. Oh, look at that. He sunk a couple of those chads. Mangonels doing really good work against those chads. Look at that. Okay, another one does go down there. And, uh, yeah, Manganel's doing the work. Meanwhile, the Holy Romans just steamrolling Nelosi. Nelosi's basically dead. Um, it's just one more landmark. I think it's the TC and that's it. Yeah, looking around, I don't see anything else. Yep. So the Holy Romans have done it, and now the Sigmarites are going to have to come help against the Rus, but the Rus are not going to fold easy, man. They're not going to fold easy. So taking a look at the Wonder Tracker, it's nine minutes. Looking at the current resources, pink is pretty rich. Um, good gold from the hunting cabins, but can pretty much infinitely produce Streltsy and or basic troops for the rest of the game. There's only a couple chads left. All the mangonels did die. Gonna need some more mangoes. They're clearly very good for defending here. And uh, China was trying to set up a little bit of action over here. You can see they had a lumber camp. They were gonna try and chop, chop through here, which is pretty funny. But those chads definitely need to go down. 
So the Malians are just, I don't think they care. They're just trying to survive. I understand this. Like, I understand where the Malians are coming from. They don't really have the means to make a difference. So they're just trying to get strong themselves so that if it does work out, then they'll be okay. GG, well played to Nelosi. And the Holy Romans now are probably going to sail up to the Bruce and try and help. But this is not going to be an easy hold, guys. We see Chad's coming, but that's like, you know, they're not going to do much. You need actual bait, like ground, ground-based military. And what, what is Green doing? Green has not been helping in so long. Okay, we got Bombards and Nesta Bees coming out. Okay. Where are like the big 200, like, I think this is the time where you delete villagers and make like a 200 stack army and try and land. Like, I right? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I don't know, man. England is more overpowered in land. And Island England isn't as overpowered in my experience. Because wood is actually more important. Like wood and, and co naval trading. And England isn't like exceptional at either of those things. All right, so big bombards coming. But England is still very good on islands too. They're not bad at all. They're very good. Infinite gold is always strong. Hey, well played, Nelosi. Nice try. So taking a look here. I think the Roos got this one, man. Really good play. Really cagey. He needs to get some villagers back there to repair. Yeah, okay. The Roos, guys have deleted all their villagers, I think. Almost all of them. 183 military supply. See, he knows how to close out an FFA, dude. I don't know why Purple's making so many ships. I don't know. 11 Trebs? Okay, this could be, this could do it. This could do it. Because if the Trebs can get over here in the corner, like where he was working. Okay, the Trebuchets have landed. The Roost need to go. They got to pull the trigger and just charge him with everything. This is a really nice play, actually, by Slammer. No, don't charge the ships. Yeah, there you go, charge the Trebs. Get those mangoes out. He's got a 200 supply army. Dude, this Bruce army is so thick. Okay, horsemen are back here on top of the trebuchets. He can't quite get in range of the cathedral. He deletes that. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. That's a lot of treb shots. Oh, man. Okay, he wasn't targeting that. I thought that was going to the wonder. That could have been really rough. But it looks like the trebuchets are dragged down. And the Roos, the Roos just hoard army. Oh, man. Those ships are so nasty, dude. Those ships are so gross. Manganels, of course, are getting some really good damage. Town getting a little bit wild, obviously. Um, Malians just don't give a shit. They, they've had their fun this game. They, they probably know they don't have much of a chance of winning. And what is Green doing? Green's finally here. Okay, Green has arrived. But where are the villagers at? You need villagers. He can't even get through the walls because the cannons don't have enough space to shoot. Oh, my God. Yeah, you know, the fact that the Rooster are kind of losing armies into these chads makes me think that maybe, just maybe... Uh, the other Chinese player might be able to get there. It's going to take a while, though. This Maze of Doom is quite nasty. See, he's loading back up, and he's going to come up here and land. The Roos need to save their troops now. What? It's time for the Roos to kind of chill in the back corner right now. And just chill here. Like, just kind of take it easy. Stay away from these chads. And, uh, and yeah, just prepare for the other Chinese invasion. I love I love the layout. Oh, the, the Sigmarites are here! The Duhast! All right, let's see the Wonder Timer, guys. Five minutes left. That's a long five minutes. Okay, guys. Round two for the invasion. It looks like they're coordinating now. So the players are working together. Purple's navy is going to let the other uh, armies land, I think. So maybe they're going to take turns. I'm not sure. Because if they land at the same time, it's going to be a bit of a disaster. Yep, one of the ships goes down. One of the Holy Roman ships is taken out by a keep on the approach. And China has landed. And are the Holy Romans going to be landing? We'll see. That is a hell of a lot of mangonels, dudes. That is a hell of a lot of mangoes. Oh my god, this Chinese army! 13 nest of bees, 9 bombards. Oh boy, I don't know if the Roos can hold this. Okay, the fact that some of the purple ships are helping on accident is really big. So the Roos is going to be trying to hold back the green army. They do have the home field advantage and a keep as well. Nest of bees overextending a little bit. Some of them getting caught by horsemen on the side. Manganel's doing brutal damage. Many of the nest of bees are getting canned. This is do or die for the Roos. If the Roos are able to hold this... Oh my god, the Nesta Bees melt those Streltsy, though. So nasty. So, so nasty. But guys, the Roos, they hold it. The Slavic Fortitude as they get a big push. And we see the Bombards getting pushed back to the sea. Drive them back to the river. So the Bombards are driven back by the Roos. But guys, that is it for the Roos, basically. If you look at his economy, he was he is all in. He's got no food income, no wood income. And this is it. He's not going to be able to make another army. So the Sigmarites, uh, have they landed on the shore? I think the Holy Roman fleet got killed. I think they got killed. I'm not sure. But Anatan here is chilling with his Streltsy and his Mangonels. He does have some production back here, but that's it. Like, 
they drained his resources. He's got a little bit of food left, but that's it. What are you going to be building here? More walls? Yeah, I like that idea. I think that's really good. Because Bombards would need to destroy the walls first before they could start shooting. The last of the horsemen are going to be coming out. He's spending what little food he has. I think he was buying it with gold, which makes sense to try and max out his army once again. I know the game sound is buggy, but it's okay. It happens. Sigmarites trying to land on the southern border here. And uh, looking at their army. Yeah, Malian's just... They're just whatever, dude. They're just like, all right, we're just we're just gonna try and trade. I mean, the Malian economy is actually getting back. I like that. I think the Malians are making the right choice by not helping. I know that sounds like a weird thing, but for them, they like there's a chance that this wonder dies, or at least there was. I think it's gonna be a little bit hard now, but um, what an epic hold. I think Green accidentally killed the Holy Roman landing force. I think so. <laughs> but the Holy Romans are pretty quick on this. They they land pretty good, fast. But there's look at this. They're not gonna get through all this in time. Yeah, there's no way. They would have to land up here. Okay, Trebs are coming back in. We got Trebs. Oh my god, is Anatan paying attention? Is he paying attention? That's a lot of Trebs, guys. Oh my god, he's not watching. Oh, the Treb shots. Oh, the Cathedral's getting hammered. Oh, that was a cheeky one, man. He kills him quick enough, though. Oh my god. Talk about, like, a, a, just a clinching moment. You're just like, oh god. Surprised nobody tried to go for the Sacreds also. Like, a, a Sacred counterplay from Green could have been really good. Yeah, maybe. Uh, the Roos are chilling in the corner. Wonder to win in about two minutes, guys. I think China should be able to muster... What, like, how is Green not able to muster a big push quicker? I guess he's pretty far across the map. Okay. Yeah. So there's going to be one more push from Green, although I don't know if he's going to make it. He's just like, yeah, 35 Spearmen and like one Nest of Bees. Like, setting up infrastructure here would have been strong, too. Like, building a bunch of barracks and then, like, having a military being produced there. The Holy Romans are just, like, getting stuck at keeps. I mean, yeah, they're getting through it slowly. But, um, like, honestly, if you're the Roos, you just ignore that. And you're just, like, totally occupied up here. The wall is attempting to be repaired. It looks like... Looks like Slammer might be trying to get in there. I had a feeling it would come down to a situation like this. 100%. So, Green, going to be getting the Navy heading down. Yeah, it's like it's like some spearmen and like an S to Bs, but that's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna get massacred. The Roos are so entrenched. The Roos are almost almost out of steam though. Like one more big fight like that, and the Roos would probably be dead. But I don't think the other factions are gonna get enough of a uh, consolidated. Look, uh, even the Malians are coming. Dun, da, 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 da. The Malians are sailing across with their haggard like Musa Fadi warriors. Oh my god, I love it. It's way too late though. It's way too late. They're going to do nothing against these mangonels. Trebs coming in. Oh my god, the Trebs, the range on the Trebs. He gets in there and gets the cathedral down a little bit. And the bow chads are able to obviously take out a lot of the Rus army. Yeah, Rusa have very little left. Very little left. Sorry about the sound, guys. There's so much going on. The cathedral of the Tsar looks like it's going to hold. 21 seconds. The green, the green spear legion. Look at the spears. They're moving in, baby. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just nothing. Absolutely nothing. Wow, that was really funny, dude. GG well played. GG well played. They also could have tried to landmark snipe him. That's gonna be a victory for the Roos. The Chinese were too greedy that game. Too greedy, I think. Wow, what a match, dude. Uh, every Civ can win, honestly. Like Delhi is probably the hardest one to win with in FFA, but like, every Civ is, is viable in some way. That's what's great about Age. Dude, well played. Today's victor is going to be Anatan and the Roos. The Roos had some really cool play. I think one of our favorite players, though, was was probably the the Malians. Their their invasion of Vice Bro was such a meme. Hell yeah, GG. GG, well played. What a match, dude. I wonder what rank Anatan was. I wonder if he was one of our Conqueror players. Probably, I would imagine. Let's see. Wow. Let's look at the eco. So, yeah. Obviously... GKS was just a tyrant. Like, he crushed everybody eco-wise. But the, the Chinese always make too many boats. And they don't focus enough on, like, landing forces. That's what always happens with China in those FFAs. Typically, Chinese win, the Chinese win. But in this case, uh, you know, we see that happen. So, by the way, guys, big shout out to Gunhound for organizing this event, as always. And to all the mods for helping today. Appreciate all of you guys. And if you guys enjoyed this format, if you enjoyed this type of stuff, do drop a like. It helps out quite a bit. It lets me know what you guys like. So, uh, yep, just get on there. Do, the, do your thing, and uh, we'll be back soon with another one. I don't know when, but I'll organize with Gunhound. Uh, we'll see what we're going to do. 
another land-based one, another team one. How many people could you have in lobby? Yeah, you could only have um, only eight. If you could have nine, you could have like a 3v3v3, three three three, which would be interesting, but that was a lot of fun. So drop a like on the way out if you guys don't mind. And attend is a Conqueror 3, so very strong. Yeah, he seems very strong. His micro is incredible. Decision-making, base building. But Anatand also had the, um, he had really, really beautiful like base layout. Like the, the chaos of his like waving walls and like keeps, like his base was like a labyrinth, which was really tough to get through. Like he did not miss a beat on that. I was really, really impressed. Super strong player. Really fun to watch. So I hope to see you guys back next time. All of you guys who played today, hope to see you back. Looking forward to round two. And, uh, and yeah, man, GG well played. We're going to see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves. And ladies and gentlemen, I bid you farewell. See you next time. Take care. Congrats to Anitand, our winner.